Is this thing on? I see they're nodding down there. All right, let me get to let, let me find the find the chat. Oh, we've got some starred messages already. Oh my goodness, uh, I've been out of the chair for a while. Who's here? Suburbia, hi Dakota. Who? All them bubbles in Hecklefish's tank. Um, Kresnik asks, "What's Project Bluebeam?" Well, the Wife House has an episode on that. Um, you covered everything in just 30 minutes. I, I, Project Victimhood, I think we covered most everything. There, there are a few nuggets that I left out, but, uh, but what do you think? Is it all an illusion? Uh, I, don't think, uh, I don't think it would work on us. Megatron, Deceptions. Um, Dave Knight, so thoughts on all the train derailments while we were watching Balloon Shot Down. Sure feels like a lot of wag the dog there, doesn't it? Feels like a distraction. But I can't go too much into it because algorithm. So what I'm doing when I'm over here is I'm just, I'm just looking at the chat. Oh, already? Okay, so <clears throat> I think the last... After files we did, maybe it was one before, I was burping a little bit, coughing a little bit, you know, unprofessionally, as I do. And someone emailed me and said, um, I might have esophageal cancer. So I need to look, look into that because uh, that would explain all the burping and the coughing, but I don't think that's what it is. I think um, between the nicotine gum and the yelling into the microphone and the constant coffee and bread bowl, I think I'm probably okay. I'm knocking on wood, but just I, every time anything's a little off, I get messages like that. Like, hey, your skin looks a little pink this week. Um, you may have, uh, you know, chronic rosacea that could devolve into some type of phage and then eventually a flesh eating disease you may want to check that out and i get them a lot you know my hair's a little weird so something's can't hair cancer i mean it's there's a name for that it's called um concern trolling so uh so i'm don't worry about you know unless you're a doctor then i want to hear from you but otherwise um Oh, I see winged spiders already dropping nice plugs. What? Buy you a can. Oh, buy you. Buy a you can fist this. Mu All right, winged spider. We're going to work on grammar and, and quotation marks just because it's hard to read. Buy you a can fist this mug, 20 ounce coffee mug. And there's a link code lizard people. One more of 10% off the order. I don't have the, f the fist mug here. I think I need to get one of those. But, you know, if but you can fist most of our mugs. If that's what you what you want to do, there's Mr. Naughty. I think I'm all set. So, I think starting next week we're going to do a couple of new segments for for y'all. Um, we're going to do a mail segment, which uh, Jen had a great not like not mail sex like mail that you get in the mail when um, when folks send in stuff. I get a lot of books and things and cool 
letters and panties once, but that was something else. So we're going to start opening those on the show so you guys can see what's what's coming in the Wi-Fi's mail. Just, we get plenty of weird stuff. All right, what's going on in the chat? Hang on, hang on. Yeah, in the in the week away from the uh, the live stream, you could tell that I didn't do much practicing. I did not get any better at this. Oh, there's the esophageal cancer again. Sorry about that. Um, Country says there's a lot of things you can fist. Okay, uh, Point Nemo, eat more crab cat cakes. Crab cat cakes. Maybe we, maybe we need to put um, a crab cat cake recipe in the Wi Files calendar for next year. I want a little calendar section, or maybe a little recipe for each month. When's a month for, for crab cakes? It's like a summer thing. Jimbo, a logo. He wants his panties back. Sorry, Jim. Once I've sniffed them, they're, they're mine. Uh, do, don't do that. Don't do that, she says. David R. says, I bet you try them on. Of course. Of course. Um, Eric Montez, can you do a show on Whitley Strieber? I don't know, Eric. You know, he's been covered so much. Whitley Strieber, by the way, is the, he's the guy that was, he was abducted by aliens and he wrote the book Communion. Uh, the movie was based on his book with uh, Christopher Walken. Oh, aliens in my room. I'm flying in the air. It's something like that. That's, that's Christopher Walken. Orlando wants to know where's Hecklefish. He's, he's in his bowl sleeping. Uh, mushroom muscle, always, you know, succinct, right to the point. Hello. Hello to you, mushroom. Boomer, uh, uh, the panties are already been claimed, man. I'm sorry. I, I mean, got to be quick on the draw with the panties jokes. Snoopy 100, male segment. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Remember that, remember that from, uh, from the Three Amigos? Right? And there's the planes flying over. And they don't, it was just strange and because it was, takes place in like the you know 1900 and something and uh and ned's like martin schwartz like oh I, that's a mail plane the guys are like really how, how can you tell and he said well, can you see its little balls it's little balls <laughs> yeah yeah gino knows that's a good one <laughs> gino remembers that one <laughs> Sonny loves the channel. Thanks, Sonny. Uh, Bubbleoni Rising, Hecklefish Panties, Gene Simmons approves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, AG, hello from tomorrow. It's 3.45 a.m. here in Spain. Great episode and not much debunking possible. This one sounds quite possible. I, I think a lot of Project Bluebeam is true. I just don't... I, I, I don't know how we get from that to really a new world order, one world government, not quickly and easily. Because like I said, there'd be too many people that would resist. I would be run one of them. So would you. We wouldn't stand for it. Um, Checking the private chat. Jen says, hey, Victoria. So she's trying to get your attention. I was just saying hi. It was before you came on. I'm coveting your nicotine gum. Oh, a whole sleeve. A whole sleeve. I can't chew it on the after files because it just becomes a gross ASMR show. Some people like that. Melody Hard, good show. I think you should look up the retired FBI agent John D'Souza of X-Files fame. He wrote a book called The Interdimensionals. He says the so-called UFOs are ours. The ETs use inner space. Um, I kind of lean toward that one, Melody, that the UFOs are ours. And that Stephen Greer chunk that I that was at one of the chapters, he was actually talking about something that Werner von Braun talked about on his deathbed, that Project Bluebeam is real and the UFO invasion will be used as a distraction. Um, Jerry Martinez, holographic military scare ta tactics. A lot of people in the chat, first of all, the chat today, there was, there was some rudeness. I'm looking down at the producer, a little bit of rudeness in there. I think just because it was busy. But so many people were saying that holograms are real and uh, we wouldn't be able to tell. And I want to know how they know that. 
If anyone knows, link me. How, you know, if you can't tell, then how do you know? Uh, they can't. Lizard people. With, are those lizards? I didn't know there was an emoji for those. I have to remember that. Uh, Scott Dickey's got to go to work and miss part of the Wi-Fi live. No, Scott, call in. Call in sick today. Scuba guys, 007, Hecklefish is misleading us. Turn away now. I have no idea what's going on right now. What about the blue files? I am James. Give me all your soup. All right. Shall we look at some super chats? Wow, is slow mode on in the chat? She's a going fast, huh? See, this is kind of what I mean. Oh, strip white belt knows a programmer that worked on the project. Now, I don't want to say no, he doesn't, because because that wouldn't be fair or right. But I would like to know how how you know that stri stripe white belt, um, because your programmer friend wouldn't be able to tell you. So he's did he violate his clearance? You gave him a little truth serum. So, and I'm not being facetious. Like, I'd really like to know how, how you know that. Otherwise, it just sounds like it could be a dude saying, yeah, I totally work on that. Pesky Media, your content is really well done. Thanks. I've been binging in the last few months. I love an episode on Allen & Co. summer camp for billionaires in Sun Valley, Idaho. Well, Pesky put that on the, the tips line. Put the banner for the tips line up over your head so they can see it. And Victoria was saying the same thing. Playing poker. Playing poker. <laughs> oh, programmer talks in his sleep. Okay. All right. It's cool that you're sleeping with programmers. Um, Trey McAllister. Hello, AJ Hecklefish. Hello, Trey. Yeah, look at look, look at his cool avatar. Look at the sun, sunglasses, goatee, ball cap, slightly askew. That's a man with confidence. Zanitho, such good plugs today, man. Dropping Patreon in there. Look, a great way to support the channel is through Patreon, by the way. Um, with that link. Today we did our first Patreon pre-show. How did that go? We did. It went good. Yeah. You sent, it the, did. Email. You sent the email last night, right? Um, oh, shit. Yeah. So I forgot to do that. Was my mic a little hot? La, 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 la. Okay. That's Victoria, you might have to move. I have to move mine way back here. It still picks me up, but it's back behind you. Because it's picking up your speakers. Um, someone asking, am I still involved with Kill Tony? I was never really involved with Kill Tony. Um, our company, Speed, we'd sponsor all the time. And when, when COVID hit, Tony used our studio for a little while. Like, Gino, do you still see Tony? Yeah, all the time when I'm out in Austin, we still talk all the time when he comes back. Uh, we sponsor uh, his shows when he comes back in L.A. as well. We, we sp Who sponsors? Oh, well, you know, whatever uh, uh, cannabis company is looking to sponsor, uh, Speedweed facilitates it. Yeah, I, I see it. I see it. I see it. Little Pony lols at six point nine thousand viewers is actually six only six point seven. So, uh, but we usually use we lose a chunk as I'm warming up here, as I'm getting up to speed. So people they tune in, they don't know really what this is, and then after a few minutes they realize that this is what this is, and uh, they don't want to stick around for it. I don't blame them. I I don't blame them. Um. All right, let's 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 see some super. Oh my goodness, we're gonna kick it off like this. Paul with a hundred and forty-four dollars. Yeah yo, yeah yo, la la, yeah yo. 
fish really needs some money. I need to buy some stuff. Fish really needs some money. YouTube don't pay enough. Fish really needs some money. So click the super chat. Like that, that, that. Yeah. Um, uh, that was a request from Jen who thinks that Rihanna makes music. I try to correct her that that ain't music. Uh, Paul, $144. Great episode. It's good to have you back. Hope you enjoyed your well-deserved vacation. Yeah, I don't know if that's a vacation. It was wonderful. With my fam, my, my folks in and the in-laws in. Mm -hmm. Now I need a vacation from that. <laughs> it was great. Gino was here. Gino was here. Karma was here. Karma is, that's his dog. We need to specify who that is. Yes. Yeah, Otherwise, it just sounds like he's dating another stripper, a <laughs> YA stripper. Um. So thanks, Paul. I but I'm being I'm being serious. I I still need the vacation. Hang on one second. I still need the vacation, but I was able to get out a little bit ahead. Um. Of the videos this week, this tonight's was done. You know, yesterday evening. So that's pretty good. So I wasn't up until the sunrise this morning and um, already have next week's video shot. I just have to edit it. Next week's video is about Tesla. Crazy Tesla story. His uh, his most destructive weapons. Uh, John Hobart, 1999. Love you. Love you too. You fantastic, handsome bastard. You too, Andrew. Ha ha. I was talking about Hecklefish. I see what he did there. Please do not rule out doing old stories. Your interpretation of all events is why you're the best freaking channel, YouTube. Uh, do them all. And we'll be right here. John, you're awesome for saying that. I appreciate that. And everyone, look at John. Look at his avatar. Look how handsome. Look, look how his sleeves rolled up, showing a little. Yeah, I, I, I see the wife in there like, hmm, hmm. Is Victoria? She loves she she loves a muscly man. <laughs> uh, Patrick Duncan, ten dollars. Welcome back, another great episode and one of the better ones. Thanks, Hecklefish, falling asleep on the job. Was waiting to hear lizard people at some point in the episode. There, lizard people are coming up next episode. Um, but I'm glad you like this one. I, was this a Gino suggestion? Absolutely. This was one of yours. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, it's happening. <clears throat> it's I, happening. I, I feel uh, me and you might disagree on this one. So, what do you think is happening? Look, some, something's going on. If uh, Project Bluebeam isn't happening, then I still need an explanation for what is happening with uh, the UAPs that that have been shot down now uh, almost two weeks ago. So we have no information. We should be getting information directly right away. Okay, so but what's the what's the plan? What's the what's the goal? Are they distracting us from something? Uh, I, I feel like it, it's distraction of uh, uh, of the chemical spills that we have with the train derailments, multiple train but, derailments all in the scene. But what's distracting us from those? The UAPs that happened before the derailments? Uh, it didn't happen. Uh, uh, there were multiple derailments, so it didn't happen before the derailments. So this is this is one of the challenges with this, these types of conspiracy theories is um, you can't dig too deeply. Otherwise, it, they start to they start to unravel a little bit. Do they unravel a little a little teeny bit? Well, instead, instead of deciding that it's all false, all I want to be is very narrow is what is going on with the UAPs? If they're not holograms, then what are they? If they've already shot them down, then there's already been recovery. And again, we're we're too too long into waiting for what answers on what they recovered. Well, in the chat, they were saying that the that those were all um, all balloons, hobbyist balloons. I didn't read any of that. Uh, I didn't see that either. I, I they said that the first uh, uh, balloon. Uh, was definitely uh, a Chinese balloon that they watched launch, and uh, so they were separating that. But the uh, the the next uh, three uh, shoot downs were not uh, balloons; they were right. cylindrical. Right. The, the certainly the first one in Canada they said was cylindrical and the size of of a small truck, but then 
they revised that statement and said, no, it's it's not cylindrical and cylindrical and gray. So who knows? I don't know what to believe. Um, but I do believe the government lies all the time. I just, uh, I just yeah, don't. They're withholding r regardless. For sure. Like if, if they shot down a UFO that's over Lake Huron, which they did, isn't it the most important scientific expedition in the history of mankind to go down there and get it? It should be. Right? No matter where it is. They... It, they they look for nuclear subs. They look for Titanic, but a UFO. They're like, eh, it's down there. So, sorry, can't get it. Yeah, I'm sure they have it uh, by now. They have it. Yeah. All right, there goes Gino, po po poker wizard, Mike Willis for twenty dollars. <laughs> Ooh, mamacita. Thanks for the tip, human. Don't listen to the negative people. I like the merch bit. Hecklefish for president. Why is he saying that? Is he talking about when they were complaining about the merch? Too many merch plugs? Speaking of merch, if you want to support your favorite YouTube channel, you can go to shop.thewifefiles.com. Get yourself a Hecklefish for president mug. We've got those. They're not expensive either. I know a lot of other creators would charge about $40 for that. But I think, I think ours are... 10 bucks, 12 bucks. There's a cartoon mug. And then everyone's favorite, of course, is Fear the Crab Cat. We got Fear the Crab Cat. And, and if you do buy something for the Wi-Fi store, shop at the wifehouse.com, support your favorite YouTube channel, then um, make sure you send it in. Look at all these, look at all these happy faces. There were there were a couple that was just hang on. I gotta I, let me move this so so we can see what we're doing. Move that. Okay. I mean, look, come on. Right. I right. Seen that one. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. Right. Look Amazing. Um is that a puppy with a lizard people mug? That's puppy. Oh my gosh. With the lizard people. Um a couple of great ones came in this week. Those are so fun. Yeah, snitches gets people. watching a sports ball match. Oh, show the kitty. It was like our bean, but he was standing um, up. I, I think I think the moment passed with the kitty. We scrolled. <laughs> uh, that this is a kitty dressed up as a crab cat. I love that so much. And. Uh, very serious about uh, hecklefish. Very serious. Now that's a little more smile. Look at this. Look at that beautiful face, huh? Uh, but the kids are my favorite. Somebody and just asked, "What the Daffy Duck is a crab cat?" <laughs> someone, would, I know the crab cat. It's so funny because if you didn't watch the episode, you have no idea what we're talking about. But I think that's what makes it fun. Aww. That's what makes it fun. So the, the crab cat came up the first time in the shadow. Oh, hang on. Cancer. In the, in the shadow people episode where hecklefish was talking about a creature that scares him, you know, growing up, uh, goldfish were afraid of the crab cat, you know, it was half, crab half cat i mean what could be more terrifying to a goldfish so you have to make it a, a t-shirt out of it i mean you just saw the mug but i mean what, right all right that's enough with the merch where 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 are we at we got patrick we got you mike don't listen to the negative people i listen to all the negative people mike i i can't not do it it's because of the 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 YouTuber performer personality. It's just insecure, constantly seeking validation, and we just grab onto the negative comments. It's negativity bias. Blackbeard, longtime supporter of the channel for ten dollars. Holy moly, one hundred forty four dollars super chat. Glad you're back. This is the best part of my Thursdays. Well, thanks, Blackbeard. He's an OG supporter of the channel. Ezra Free for dollar ninety nine. I'm no Paul. More of a Ringo. Nicely done. Nicely done. Maybe I shouldn't have started with Paul because he's just, he makes it rain. And then I don't want anyone to feel bad. I know. So 
it's, you know, not everyone has that kind of money. I, I certainly don't. But if Paul keeps donating, I might. Mike Goad rhymes with Toad. I remember you, Mike. 499, Goad family again. New favorite spooky episode. New purple belt as of today. Well, welcome to the Madhouse. Want to support our favorite channel the best way we can? Super Chats will slow down. That's okay, Mike. I'm just, I'm happy to have the support. And I, I read the super chats because you guys dropped a couple of dollars into the till, and I appreciate that. Um, I'll, I, any comment that the Victoria or Jem want to pin, I'm happy to read those. But if someone's donating to the channel, I really want to do my best to, uh, to get your comment out there. And when I'm watching a live stream and I super chat someone, which I do all the time now, I get so excited when they read my comment. So hopefully it's fun to hear me butcher your name in front of thousands of people. Georgia Fox lover, $10 Canadian. I feel the need to dig out my VHS copy of Videodrome tomorrow. Thanks, Hecklefish. I don't know Videodrome, uh, but I know what VHS is. I get there with the number of people that are in here. There are kids in here that don't even know what VHS stands for. Uh, Mike D. Uh, good to see you, Mike. 501. So Gene Roddenberry accidentally created Project Bluebeam. How did the site hold up viewership-wise for your week off? I know you're concerned. <laughs> I was concerned. It held up It held up pretty well, Mike, for the most part until yesterday. Yesterday, it, it, it ticked down a little bit, but it still wasn't bad. We still got 6,000 subscribers, which sounds like a lot. But, um, but yeah, I was nervous. I'm still nervous. Uh, tonight's premiere had a nice uh, amount of people in there. I, the record is 26,000. And when I looked, I, as I was like wrapping up, it was at 25,971. So I don't, hang on, hang on. There she is. There I she is. Ladies and gentlemen. I, I write it all down. So we got to 26,038. Oh, oh. Yes. Is that a new record? No, I think we got to 28,000 on the CIA poll reversal video. Yeah. yeah. 20, 28,000. Oh, yes. man. But that's still great. 26,000 people. That's amazing. It's, it is still great. And I wasn't sure if after no episode last week, if anyone would even show up. You know? Well, I knew Why is she laughing? I, I, I could have sworn it would have been 15 people in there, all just me and the mods. We have had this conversation numerous times. Well, there she goes with the conversation. Um, we've got Pay 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 Troopa 108 for 1999. If a peace-loving world planning organization needs 5,000 soldiers to protect its meeting, makes me wonder what's really happening there. I think talking about Bilderberg, right? which is so super secret and always a heavily armed presence. And if, if you look around closely, wherever they have the, they, the meetings are floating. Now look around at the rooftops, paratroopa. Uh, I'm looking at your wings pin. I'm, I'm assuming you service. You look at the, the rooftops and you'll see, um, you'll see snipers up there. I mean, there's a heavily armed presence and yeah, they say that, you know, that's just, you know, there's a lot of dignitaries and VIPs and there to protect them, but there's a bigger military security presence at Bilderberg than there is like a UN meeting. So yeah, I'm also suspicious of that, but thank you for the 1999. That really helps. D. Ether. I was a customer way back then. Whoa. DSDRN, a customer of Speedweed. If it was way in the beginning, I could have been the first driver. Might have been. Um, I, maybe, maybe there's a, there's a memoir to be written about some of this crazy stuff between the weed and the brothel and the YouTube. Oh, sorry. I, we're interrupting his, his poker game. So we'll, we got to get back. We'll get back to this. Um, well, thanks DS. I'm glad you watched that. Um, yeah, the city of LA was going after our company pretty hard because we were pretty well, um, known. And Joe was kind enough to throw us on the show just to sort of bring attention to the issue. It helped zero, but we had a good time hanging out with uh, Rogan and talking about weird stuff. Apollo Prime 499, did you throw up an Illuminati sign with your hands at the end of the videos? I can't answer that. 
can't answer that. Moving on. No, Apollo, I'm just kidding. No, that is the Shaolin Kempo salute. So Kempo has been a part of my life for 30 years. So that's, that's all that is. But that question is common. A lot of people think I'm doing something weird with my hands. Um, but when I do that, Weird stuff in my hands that's usually under the table. Tom Garrett, $10. Fantastic episode as usual. whoop de doo Thank you for that juicy tip, human. A fantastic episode with a terrific closing message. So given what we know at present, what's your current best hypothesis about those alleged UFOs we shot down? Um, I don't know. And it's hard to guess. Oh, see, I'm itching. I'm itching because it's dry in here and the heater is blowing right on me because it's freezing. But... I have been uh, concerned, trolled about that, that there's some, you know, the phage or scabies or something's going on. It's just dry. It's just dry in here. And I don't want to put it on lotion. I mean, should I lube up for the show? Anyway, Tom, I don't really know how, uh, I don't really know what's going on with the UFOs, but it seems very strange that suddenly we're, we're shooting them down. Now, the DOD said, well, we're shooting them down because they're, they were flying in at an altitude that's within commercial airspace but like over montana there's no there's but there's no planes around so even if it's over airspace and you're telling me that all these other ufos we've seen are not within you know 5000 to 35000 feet it's just lies are being told and it's too uh, it's too hard to speculate Ecclefish would have some thoughts, but it's it's too hard to speculate. But um, I, but I don't trust Shadow Jedi nine ninety nine. Thank you for the support, Shadow Jedi. Continuing the continuation from two weeks ago about the forty five minute long zero point energy video. We never nailed down an exact date, and if it needs the full hour, I guess we can clear some time. T M N. Um, I mean, what do you you want to do a full hour on that Shadow? I mean, next week we talk about. Tesla and energy a little bit. We don't really get into it that much. If enough people want to learn more, I'll do it. It's just everything that we didn't cover is just really, it's very technical math and physics. I don't know how good that is for the algorithm. Uh, Stefan, uh, I'll, I'll, I, I, you, oh, Hacks You Rocks, right? Thank you. He knows that I'm going to butcher it. Hack You Rocks, right? You remember, yes, another awesome episode. Thank you. I actually watched Serge Manast being interviewed on Richard Glenn's show um, in the cable back in the 80s. Very weird guy. Uh, I'm assuming that you speak the French. Yeah, and I didn't want to get into that in the video because he did die the day after being incarcerated, but Serge Manast was a strange man. Now, I'm not going to say he was a liar, but he was... He was really out there. You know, you don't want to call someone crazy. And how many people have been called crazy that have been right? But he he came across as, as kind of a raving lunatic. But he was very intelligent, and, he, and people put him on their shows all the time. So I don't know, Stephane. The thing about the – about – Star Trek is I, I'm 90% sure that he got most of Project Blue Beam from Star Trek. But he, he got a, he got a lot of things right. Things that that he couldn't have even that he shouldn't have been able to predict. But you know, he was wrong about a lot of the technology. Brian M Mil Brian M Brian M, $5. Thanks uh, for the $5. I appreciate that. I'm sorry, your name is missing a vowel, so I didn't know what to put in there. Demonic Hordes, $5. Like we do every week this time, black-eyed kids, do it! Pardon me, it's not professional at all. I'm working on that one, uh, Demonic Hordes. <laughs> with the names, it's so hard because I, I, I want to have a conversation with you, but... Your name is Demonic Hordes, all lowercase with no avatar. So, but look, you're not taking me that seriously, so, right? Ditto. Black Eyed Kids, I, it's definitely on the list. I looked into it some more this past week, and I'm not just telling you that. I actually did. It's just hard to find visuals because everything about the Black Eyed Kids legend is all just people telling stories. Now, tell me in the chat, 
demonic hordes, if that's good enough for me to just say, well, there's no evidence that any of this is real, but these are what, this is what a bunch of people said. These stories. I mean, is that enough? All right. All right. Hang on. Thank you for the forty nine ninety nine. Might need a little help with this one. Uh, <laughs> Look, I starred that one and I laughed when I started because I knew you were going to be looking at it. And well, I <laughs> well, you know, we'll have Victoria go ahead and read it. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Go ahead. I, yeah. <laughs> Got nothing. I mean, it looks like he's giving you a lot of suggestions, which well, is what does he got? Time to talk about well, tip line. Um, he wants to talk about Osiris's shaft. Interesting. Um, what did Graham do? I don't think he's a Graham Hancock fan. Uh, so that's a thing that I'm getting from there. It's hard without punctuation. But well, she gave it a shot. And, you know, I and it's really about the effort. Right. Zahi team help uncover tombs, jobs, of pyramid builders, Osiris shaft <laughs> prove slaves did not build the pyramid. Slaves didn't build the pyramids. Everybody knows that defend against centrists proven agent Egyptians are proven. Ancient Egyptians are Egyptians, not black, white, etc. And more what Graham do Hamcock profits off others, cultures and discredits natives who built such. It's not a Hancock fan. Right. Or a fan of the space bar. <laughs> because Murica, thank you for the twenty dollars. Oh, thank you for stuffing the old tip jar, human. Jez Jezera Jez sixteen ninety nine Fast Eleven movie family Dominic Toretto. He's just telling you that the Fast Eleven. So all of the Fast and Furious movies, the big theme through all of them is family. And I don't know if he was responding to your comment about faith in family and friends and all of that stuff. And Dominic Toretto is the Vin Diesel character in Fast and Furious. What, at, what kind of, oh, is that a dog? In the Avatar? It's a car. No, it was behind Victoria. It just looked oh. like a white, oh. fuzzy. Is that yeah. a dog? That's a dog. It's a dog? I was like, dog. look at the ugly cat. <laughs> it's a dog. A very cute dog. That's not a dog. It's a very cute dog. She's got a couple well, of them. Cute is in the eye of the beholder, I guess. Jim T for 888 as usual. Well done and entertaining. By the way, I'm surprised that you're not religious. Keep up the great work. I'm not. I'm not, Jim, but it doesn't. But I'm not like an obnoxious atheist. I'm not the guy that's, well, I'm spiritual, man. I'm just, I'm spiritual. I'm not that guy. I actually, I love religion because I like the stories. I like the morality. I like the structure. You know, I like the lessons, the parables. I just, you know, I'm not a big supernatural guy. I'm not, you know, so it's hard for me to fully buy into any religion. That all being said, I'm hopeful that I'd like to be wrong about all that, you know, die. And there's like Jesus or somebody like, hey, and I'd be like, hey, OK, we're good. Now, I don't know if that is going to happen, but I do hope that. So that's why you never see me condescend about religion. And I mentioned that about faith is because I, I mentioned faith and family three times during the episode. Everything comes in threes. And I mentioned it once per act because that was the theme of, of today's episode. I wasn't trying to be heavy handed about it, but that was the theme was faith and family. And I don't want people watching to be like, uh, you know, I'm a religious, it's a religious video. It's a religious video. Cause it's not faith is faith. Isn't about anything. And, and really the theme was I have faith that if, if things get bad, that there will be enough of us like you and like me that will prevent more bad, you know? So in the video I said, we'll use words or we'll use violence, you know? Which we would, you know, Jim, uh, anyone who goes by Jim T, that's a, that's a man who knows how to use a firearm. Logan Miller, thank you for the 2160. Oh, thank you for the tip. I'm saving up to build a bunker to protect me from the lizard people. They're coming to get you. I hope you had a well-deserved break. 90 seconds to midnight. 
truth or fear mongering. Prayers to Ohio. I don't know 90 seconds of midnight. Do you know that one? Uh, no, I think maybe where he was watching, it was 90 Oh, where seconds. he's watching, it's 90 seconds to midnight. That's my guess. All right. That's a good guess. That random model, 999, thank you for your awesome channel. You're welcome. It helped me start mine. Please plug and thank you. Also, as a time traveler, just wanted to say, I really like the next five episodes. Nicely done, that random model. Everyone go to that random model's uh, channel and check it out. Uh, we're not going to do the full plugs on the After Files, but that's going to be a thing that we're going to do on the Backstage channel. Uh, do you guys know that there's a Backstage channel? Yeah, hang on, hang on. Oh, I'm sorry. You're sorry. waving me down, but I didn't mean to interrupt your food. Sorry. 90 seconds to midnight. No, 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 no. no. I think it's No, I think it's actually great. If you could talk with your mouth full right into the microphone, that'd be awesome. She's going to go ahead and finish that mouthful of food, and then she'll be right back. It's the doomsday clock, I think people were saying. Oh, oh doomsday, doomsday clock. clock. 90, 90 seconds. seconds. I'm surprised it's right. that much. So we're going to do channel plugs on the Backstage channel. Yes. And I don't have it handy, but I was going to put a link to Backstage in the chat because there's a new Backstage video from, la from uh, just a few days ago. Oh. Well, the well, the gold play button unboxing. Yes, that's right. You so, did that. Uh, and it's only twenty six minutes. You know, which that's pretty. That's pretty short for for one of these. Uh, Orphan Monkey One, nineteen ninety nine. Do a thing on the monuments on Mars, i.e., the face, the city, the wall, etc. Should be a great dig, and who knows? Maybe we are the Martians. LOL. Oh, that's pretty deep. Everyone, look at the do rag on Orphan Monkey's head right now. Look at his do rag. Look at that. What is that? Is that camouflage? I wish I could make this bigger. So the face on Mars, the city, the wall. He's talking about the area of Mars known as Cydonia, and those pictures when they first came out were crazy because it did look like a face. And, um, and there's, and that does look like structures and Richard Hoagland covered this a lot in his project, um, enterprise mission, which I don't know if it's still around, but he covered it a lot after it got a lot of coverage, NASA released new photos and said, no, 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 no. It was just the way the light was hitting the area. And now the face is gone. All that stuff is just, it's just flat now. And I don't understand why we, we don't have probes just rolling around there because you know, when NASA sends an updated photo, now we definitely don't believe you, but you know, we can't land there because of reasons. Uh, so, so orphan monkey, maybe, maybe do a video about, maybe that's the topic, you know, we're brainstorming now we're workshopping this. Maybe the topic is crazy NASA photos that were changed or altered or Photoshopped later. Because we could do a lot of stuff on, on NASA Photoshops. I mean, have you seen the videos where NASA has, like, from space, a picture of the Earth, right, and the, with the cloud patterns, the cloud coverage? And if, if and people have done this. You zoom in close enough, you could see that the clouds are just copy-pasted around. You see, you've seen that, Gino? The clouds yeah, I've seen copy, it. It's, copy-pasted. And NASA says that they do that because just to make the photo more interesting. They've been caught on so many different photos. How could you believe any at this point? Can't believe any. And don't do us any favor, NASA. You don't have to make it more interesting. We prefer the the truth would be awesome. Because America's back for twenty dollars. Excellent videos. Oh, thank you. Hope we didn't see. I hope we didn't see you last week because you were on vacation, not because of something unexpected. Hope you're doing well in either case. Yeah, people on on Twitter were going a little. They were. They thought that that the MIB finally got me. By the way, you could follow you could follow me on Twitter. Let me OMG the Y files on Twitter, Instagram. I'll put that in the chat. Um, usually on Twitter every day talking to folks. So yeah, I I, I figured maybe I should have probably put out a message that there was going to be no video this week because people were there were a couple of people that were legitimately concerned. Like, hey, if I don't if I don't see a tweet within forty eight hours, we're sending help. It was like, no, 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 no. You don't, don't send anything. I'm fine. And um, what's stressful is everyone's calling it a vacation <laughs> because it was so not a vacation. 
And I now I can't take a big, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, we inter interrupted no. your, your eating again. No, 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 okay. go ahead and talk. Go ahead and talk with your mouth full. It's oh, what is, what is that? <laughs> okay, there she goes with her cold, cold stone. Um, Chris Hudson, twenty dollars. Uh, thanks for debunking this one. Project Blue Beam is BS. Serge Manasse was not well. Mel Gibson's character in Conspiracy Theory was based on Serge Manasse. That's true. It was. Um, yeah, he definitely was a guy with, you know, with issues. And I didn't want to kind of ruin the point in the video, but that was one of the reasons his his kids were taken. They his children were being homeschooled. He was married. So the kids were taken from both. They were being homeschooled, but apparently he was teaching them crazy stuff and the, and the government had to step in. I don't know specifically what I have read rumors about what he was teaching them. And if those rumors are true, I probably would have supported a little intervention at that point, but it didn't really, it didn't really fit with what we were talking about. You know, my point was, Arresting anyone for misinformation is that's a bunch of nonsense, no matter what the information is. I'm not a big fan of censorship. Jeff Wallace for $10. Great show. Although I worry when Hecklefish feels the need to wear a tinfoil hat the whole time, you should. You should worry about that, Jeff. Um, let's see if Jen has something interesting to add. No, I think that's, yeah. You really think so? Okay. <laughs> Uh, David Aguirre, 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 thanks for the $5, and uh, I'm glad you enjoyed the show. I hope um, I hope that one does well. You know I'm nervous about the, the algorithm. Like, I feel like, did I, did I betray the algorithm, and now it's going to be like, oh, now you're back? So, I don't know. Curtis Hutchi Hutchin Hutchinas, 499. Have you heard of Behold a Pale Horse by William H. Cooper? Yeah, it's on the shelf back there. He talked about the hood plan in that book. Word, brother, he sure does. He certainly does. Um, can you still get Behold a Pale Horse? That book was like, that was being semi-canceled at some point. But, uh, but if you're interested in the weird stuff, that's definitely a, a book to check out. I wonder, can we get that on, on Kindle? Let's see. Let's see. What the fish needs now are tips, sweet tips. That's the only thing. Apparently, uh, the afterfiles makes people hungry. That's yeah. <laughs> that's what we're that's what we're learning. Behold, a pale horse. By the way. Oh, there it is. Behold a pale horse. Yeah, that's on Kindle. Yeah, so this is a good book if you're into the weird stuff. Bill Cooper, a former uh, USNI briefing team member, reveals information that remains hidden from the public eye. The information has been kept in top-secret government files since the 1940s. His audiences hear the truth unfold as he writes about the assassination of JFK, the war on drugs, the secret government, and UFOs. Bill is a lucid, rational, and powerful speaker whose intent is to inform and to empower his audience. All that's true. All that's true. But he was... He also ruffled some wrong feathers because remember he predicted and it, he predicted it in the summer of 2001, he predicted that there would be a major attack on U.S. soil and the government, would, it would be a false flag attack and the government would pin that attack on Osama bin Laden, someone who very few of us ever heard of. And seven, eight weeks later, 9-11 happened and then Bill Cooper uh, turned up dead. David Butler, 499, another great episode. Hegelfish was on fire tonight. This was our daughter's first time watching it. She loved it. I don't know why kids watch this crazy show. I'm glad they do. David, by the way, go, get her a Hecklefish t-shirt and send me the picture of that. I love the pictures of the kids. Um, I don't know why kids watch this crazy show. Cat. <laughs> Cat. Hi, kitty. I... That's a big cat. It's, he's a big boy. That's that's a big pussy. Louis two x five dollars. This episode might get you. Hope you got some. Hope you got some well deserved rest. Say hi to Jen and the crew. All hail Lord Hecklefish. He's a strict but fair lord. I didn't get any rest. I know you didn't get any rest, but our families watch this too. So stop making it sound like. 
They it do? Was horrible. Yes, they do. And I'm sorry. Happened. I had a wonderful time. We did have a wonderful time. No, I did. Did I have a wonderful time? Yes, you did. It was the first time AJ's actually taken a whole like vacation whenever we've had anybody visit for like 15 years. See the smirk on his face? Jeez, that's, a man who, that's a man who knows his brother. Helios One, thank you for the super sticker. Hey, and the support of the channel, it really does help. Um, you know, doing doing the three, four hour after files and just reading the super chats. After a while, I kind of feel like Jerry Lewis a little bit. <laughs> like, you know, if everybody dig deep. It will give you a tote bag, support the channel. I got pictures of the kids up. I'm tugging at the heartstrings. She's got a cat. She's got cookies. You know, we got we need we need your help to keep the channel going. Eric Bishop, thank you for the 999. Love the episode. Love that y'all are back. Thank God for a bill of rights and our inalienable rights. Thank God for our forefathers. Amen. Those bill of rights, we should we should probably adhere to those a little more than we do, huh? Deshaun, 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 Deshaun Goward. Thank you for the $10. Sorry, I can't pronounce your name. And I'm trying to look at the um the avatar, but I don't I don't know what that is. Yeah, no, see, nobody, nobody. What in the world? Water. <laughs> I, know, I just, she, something was in her mouth. That was fantastic. She looked and at me like. <sighs> B Formby, B Formby, four or five dollars. Hey, AJ, recently employed after a layoff in November. Congrats. Glad you landed something. So now I have some cash to donate to you and the Y Files family. All right. You five more dollars and you get a private dance. All right. Private dance. I mean, not from Hecklefish. Victoria will actually do that on camera for you. There she goes. There she goes. See? See? That was After funny. Files, bring in sexy back. And DJ for $50. Whoa. Human. I want you to know I said human. Thank you for all the dough tipping. As I'm sure you will find, always is a good time. Ooh, 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 it's fun to tip the F I S H. It's fun to tip the F I S H. <laughs> Thank you for that uh, generous support, DJ. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed that uh, that uh, F I S H. It's fun to watch the girls trying to spell it. What do you got for an? That's an F. That's your F. What do we got for an I? That's an I. Are you sure that's not an H? That what's that's the that's S. The and H looks like a wider I. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I guess we could just do this. We could just do that. Look. That dog is so cute. No, I'm sorry, Jenny. You've got a string hanging from your sleeve there. Oh, no, that's your arm. Uh, Nicole Doma, 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 Domagala. Nicole Domagala, thank you for the five Canadian. Love your channel. You and the husband look forward to every episode. You're a great speaker and say hi to your kitty for us. Cat! Well, I'm, where is the hubby, Nicole? Where's Mr. Domagala? Is he watching? I hope he's watching. Have him say hi in the chat. Brian Irvin, thank you for the $5. I agree that the plan could never fully work, but it's a different question entirely whether the elites have, <coughs> have and are attempting to implement it. Dog! <laughs> uh, and that's a great point, Brian. Um, I, I, what we really need to figure out is, is kind of what is the end game? Because the one world government that's, it, like I said, it, it's not going to work. There's just too many, it's just too many of us that'd be like, no. But they they certainly could get us, get, could make something happen. Something bad could happen. And I don't really know what that is. But we got to keep watching. We got to keep talking about this stuff. Um, I try to get as close to the line as I can without annoying the algorithm about this stuff. But we got to keep watching. Uh, Stacy Lindsay, thank you for the nine ninety nine. 
There's Commander Bishop, $5. This is a really good episode. As long as we talk about this, they more than likely won't try it. So keep talking about it. See, that's the simulation again. That's what I was just saying. We got to keep, just keep shining the light on it. Earth Singularity. Wow, five, 50 bucks. May I ask what you think of the Solar Warden Theory? That's that's a great one. So the Solar Warden Theory is about the, the United States secret space program that allegedly has a fleet of ships in our solar system protecting the Earth and the inner solar system from alien incursion. Um, so what do I think of the theory? I, I love it. Do I believe it? I don't. I don't believe the theory, but that's one of those that I want to. But maybe that could explain why we didn't go to the moon for so long or why the space shuttle program was just kind of left to gather dust. Maybe they were working on other stuff in orbit. I don't know. But you'd, you'd think that if there were – I mean, according to the theory, there are, there are ships from – Earth-made ships that are the size of aircraft carriers up there. And you think that someone would have worked on that? Because that was kind of my point in tonight's episode. Like, it's fun to talk about the, these huge conspiracies, of, you know, satellites in space and giant holograms or aircraft carrier-sized ships in orbit. But what conspiracy theorists that really invest in it and never talk about it are all the people that work on it. Look, it, you build a dormer on your house and you got 15 guys over there. So how many people does it take to build an aircraft carrier that goes to space? And how do you launch? I mean, it just requires thousands, tens of thousands of people. And Bob Lazar is the only guy, you know, I think there'd be a couple more whistleblowers. A couple more people would drink too much. They, you know, maybe they become like a, like a, like a, someone who works for Pfizer and they trying to impress a date and tell you all the secrets we're not supposed to know. You know, you'd think there'd be more of that. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's true. Don't trust Pfizer, but buy, buy their stock, but don't trust them. Edward Charlton, Charlton, $20. You made some good points. All in fun. Well, thanks, Edward. And you look so, you, Look very happy in your profile pic. I love it. I just ear to ear. Steely, thank you for five dollars. Inside the CIA, it's always there. Is it a good book? It is. I highly recommend it. Um, let me see, let me see if that's on Amazon. You know, if I was really trying to raise money for the channel, I would have had a lot of these links as uh, affiliate links. But uh, I mean, you know, I'm never prepared. Ronald Kessler. That's the book that you want. There it is. The Secrets of the World's Most Powerful Spy Agency. Employs uh, material from extensive research, hundreds of interviews, CIA's evolution over the last 15 years. So if you're into the intelligence, um, this is not a, it's not a, like a hardcore conspiracy book. This is more about how the CIA was, was sort of formed after, after the, after the war how they put it together. It goes into how recruitment works, training, that kind of stuff. So it's not, you know, it's not a, really a conspiracy book, but if you're into spy stuff or history of the intelligence community, it's, it's a great book. And it's only 12 bucks on Kindle. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. Um, isn't that that band from the, from the, the nineties? Uh, I did that joke last time. All right. Love the show. Uh, the end of the world is nigh. I don't think it is. I mean, for us, it could be, but the world will be fine. It just, it doesn't need us. Tech Prime Media, thank you for $5. Tech Prime supporting for a long time. Another great episode. We are living in strange times. That is, um, that was an old Chinese curse. Remember that? May you live in interesting times. And people would, like, white folks would used to, like, say that to each other. It was like, may you live in interesting time. But it was a curse. It was an actual curse, a Chinese curse. Because um, you, you don't want times to be interesting. Right, Tech Prime? You don't want, you just want things to be cool. Just kind of chill. Oh, look. Hecklefish. Is this, that's Hecklefish? This. Oh, it's a Hecklefish do-rag. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How come Karma doesn't have a Hecklefish do-rag? Hey, where, uh, no one, I didn't know I could get one. Is there a place I could get one of those? 
Oh, you could go to the <laughs> shop at thewifefiles.com right now. You can get one for your uh, for your dog. You can, you can get one for your you, your children, whatever you want. Shop at thewifefiles.com. Support your favorite YouTube channel today. Unpopular popular opinion. $10. Mensa members are used to unwittingly are used to unwittingly make decisions for works, governments, Illuminati. You're marked once you take the online preliminary test. Don't take the test if you want privacy. Uh-oh. What happens if you're already in Mensa? Oh, Daniel Garman. Thank you for the $20. Booyah! That's the stuff. Extremely relevant episode predictive predictive programming. I grew up in uh, near East Palestine. The movie White Noise is about a train derailment. The scene was shot in Salem, oh, 20 miles away, where the train was first seen on fire. I didn't know that, Daniel. That's crazy. Surprisingly little coverage of the train stuff. And I can't even really get into it because of the algorithm, which... It, like, why does, why does YouTube care if we want to discuss, if we have questions? Like, why does YouTube care? Which, of course, makes me care. Right, Cap? Thanks for the $20. Cap understands. I mean, look at, look, at, look, at, look at the smiley face. That's a man who knows something that you don't know right there. Caramel, $20. Let's support this small channel. We love Hecklefish. All right. I appreciate that. Whoa, this is one smart human. Are you sure you're not pot goldfish? Caramel helps. We, we can grow this channel together. Just you and I. SF0X15. $20. Excellent defense of the Second Amendment, even if that's not what you intended. I wasn't being so heavy-handed about it, but that is what I intended. Um, I, there was a comment about the channel... In some, on some forum that said uh, something like, I really like the Y files, but at one point AJ mentioned that he has guns, and I hope that's not true because he seems like a good guy. Like what? Like the show's great, but I'm packing a piece and now suddenly no bueno? No. Nope. RRG991981. It sounds like I'm. Um, given call signs over the radio. Uh, glad to get some Wi files today. Great episode. Hope you had some good time off. My week is never the same without some Thursday night Wi files. Really wasn't time off. It was just, I just wasn't. Stop it. Um, S S S the, S the tech $10. It's so refreshing to get deep, sophisticated content that isn't tainted by political or corporate affiliations. Uh, what channel are you watching that's giving you deep, sophisticated content? It's not mine. No, I know. It's, it's very nice of you to say. Very nice of you to say. Watch tonight on new phones I'm testing. I run a tech channel. Stop by sometime. Everyone go to estetech.com. That's estetech's YouTube channel right now. It's a very, very good channel about phones. And uh, we're going to, estetech, we're going to we're gonna cover those channels and, and backstage. Uh, let me see if I can find I got to see if I can find it. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. There it is. There it is. No, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'll post that in the chat. I mean, look, not, we can't get this to 10,000? Come on. There's got to be 50 folks in there that will give it a little click. Come on, man. I'm just kidding. You don't have to do that. But if you like this for some reason, then you'll like that. And that says more about you. Uh, Brian Schumann, wow, $50. Thanks for that, Brian. I appreciate that. Really helps the channel. Belvedere Vodka. Uh, Tanner Banks, 99. Hecklefish left me on red. <laughs> well, you're laughing. What does that mean? It's a texting joke. So if you text someone and you have an iPhone, you can see if they read it, but they, they yep. haven't responded. So... Oh, you can tell. Oh, like what Rogan does to Gino's text. I got to shut off uh, read receipts. Can't have the read receipts on. Can't have the read receipts. Well, maybe that's why uh, Rogan hasn't hit you back yet. Maybe. <laughs> so, no, just so you know, AJ, as you're reading these. Um, well, what was she going to say? She was going to tell you that she's unstarring them as you read so she can keep up. Yes. Is that. So with 
when you see how many are starred, that's really how many are left. That's not, you haven't. Is this making there. sense to anyone? <laughs> Max Overhang, 1999. Love your show format. Thank you. You're very welcome. What is that, Tang? Is that a picture of Tang in your avatar? Do they still make Tang? We used to drink that. I think we, I think mom got that because it was cheap. But we used to get, remember we had Tang sometimes. Yeah. It, I, I, it tasted I, like the baby, the orange baby aspirin, like crushed up in water. Yeah. I, I think, I feel like uh, that was mom's side of the family. You had a lot, a lot in, in Jersey. Yeah. We had the poor side of the family and the poorer side of the family. So that was probably on the, the poorer side. Um, I'm glad you like the format, Max. We kind of stumbled into it. Oh, we got stuff going on in the private chat. Let's see. Uh, Brother wi is logging into Discord. Exclamation point. Very excited. Poker is until 7. Okay, LOL from Victoria. Gino, stop saying that. Um, Gino says, stop talking about cancer. Bro, Gino wants to know if I got cheesecake uh, and letting me know that water cures cancer. Always, always helpful notes from the team behind the scenes. Uh, Rachel Reyes, 1999. Do you follow Dr. Greer? He was on the Sean Ryan show three days ago. I didn't see that appearance, Rachel, but, um, I follow th the disclosure project. And if he's on a podcast that I like, I'll listen to him, but I don't, I'm not like on his mailing list or stuff. Cause I, he, some, he's kind of repetitive. Like if you watch him on a long podcast, you're pretty much caught up with Dr. Greer, unless something new is going on. I mean, we used a clip from Dr. Greer tonight. So if something new is going on, let me know. Heck, um, uh, XR, XOXPX, uh, so hard. What happened to just Joe and Steve and Bobby? 999 met Hecklefish in the 90s. He had a mustache and was a truck driver. He saved me from poverty and helped me get back on my feet. Taught me Mandarin as well and paid for my college. 10 out of 10, great guy. I didn't know that. Um, I remember he was driving truck. I didn't know he was driving truck in the 90s. He was in the 80s, that's for sure. He had the mustache. But uh, I'm glad he helped you get back on your feet. He's done that. And he doesn't, he's not boastful about it when he helps people. You know, he just, he just helps. And amazing that he shared his Mandarin with you. He's only spoken Mandarin on the show a couple of times. Um, but he has some Mandarin coming up over the next few weeks, doesn't he? He does. He does. What do you got? I said, stay tuned. There's a new, there's a, a, a new little piece of content in the works. Whoa. <laughs> That's a teasy face. Real son of a bitch. $5. What's on the food order tonight? Great content. Mind control says eight ounce sirloin. I don't know, Betch. We're going to need another couple of $5 super chats to get a sirloin. Otherwise, you got to just go burger. I don't know if I'm going to do Applebee's tonight because I have some left. I have a leftover chicken Caesar salad, but the croutons are kind of like they're pretty mushy. So I don't know if it's still any – Victoria says don't eat it. I don't know. I may have to go Applebee's because that's just what we do now. Foo Band, thank you for the 1999. I like big tips and I cannot lie. You other fish can't deny. Remember, Serge Manasse didn't know about our current internet corrupt media culture, COVID. Seeing my shirt and mug pic at the end of the vid was awesome. All hail hecklefish. Um, thanks, Foo Man. Yeah, he – so he was, he certainly knew some stuff, but he was wrong on a lot of the technology. And remember when he was, when his book came out in 93, 94, there was internet nerds like me were using it. It wasn't the internet like you see now, but we were on there. Um, nerds like me were online in the seventies, but he didn't cover any of that stuff. Uh, great comment. Daniel Garman is back $5. Blue beam is disinformation for the great reset. It's well on its way. I can't argue with that. That could absolutely be one of the things. Um, I feel like whoever the powers are, they love a, cr like a crazy conspiracy, the crazier, the better. Cause I feel like they're saying, well, as long as the, the idiots are talking about this, we can do that. So Daniel, I, I, I agree. I agree. They want us talking about the wrong things. Uh, Thomas James is back for $5. Uh, Murray from IJ wore a hecklefish as my spirit animal shirt in this past week's episode. He That's did. true. He definitely did. 
Um, let me see if I could find uh, find that. Impractical Jokers, Murr is big fan. Yeah, Murr. And look, Murr is not watching, so I could say like, I never saw. I never. There's there's Murr. I wonder if the yeah. There's Murr. Uh, oh man. I gotta log in. So yeah, so Mer wore the Hecklefish shirt on uh, on a Practical Jokers, super fun. So I never saw him Practical Jokers. I just got I got an email out of the blue from from his assistant. It said James is a big fan of the show. This is a long. He, he's been a fan for since when the channel was small. Big fan of the show and just wants to know if he can have your email and talk. So of, of course, and um, I was embarrassed to say I was like, man. I don't know who you are. And he <laughs> thought it was funny, I guess, because he's super famous. I thought it was funny, but uh but yeah, I never watched the show, but it looks fun. I don't know, Gino likes it, right? Yeah, he's, he 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 likes it. He likes it just fine. The secret spaceship. Thank you for the twenty dollars. Oh yeah, tip of the morning, human. I uh, really like the show. Can do a show on Jonathan Reed or Billy Meyer. Uh, I can send it to the uh, to the tips line. What do you think? Should I put the banner up? Yes, that'd be good. Up at the top. All right. uh, where should I put it? Up at the top. Oh, I'd like to see an episode on this too. Get off your lazy human ass and do it. <laughs> That was rude. Uh, Chester Utton, thank you for the twenty dollars. Here you go, as requested. I doubled from five to ten dollars, and now from ten to twenty. Can I get a shout out from Hecklefish? Well, you can't get one now, but you could. You could get one, Chester. If you email me, he'll shout you out. Happy to do that. Um, ten to twenty, and then twenty to forty, forty to eighty, and then you're in. You're in Paul territory after that, man. Uh, but yeah, Chester, if you email me and let me know that it's you, I mean, that's because that's clearly not your real name. Let me know that it's you and Hecklefish will take care of you. Um, Nezu, thank you for $5. If the government really wants to control us, all they have to do is keep us very entertained. You're keeping us very entertaining, very suspicious. Yeah, a lot of people think that, I, that I'm deep state. They think that I'm part of the, the, the intelligence uh, community. Interesting. Patrick Dozier for $20. Outstanding job, you guys. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. D. Gresham for $10. Good show again. I've read about Blue Book involving Harp projecting images on the ionosphere. Did you see any info on this in your research for this week? I did, D. Grisham, and we're going to cover Harp probably pretty fairly soon. A lot of people ask for it. It's a great, there's a lot of great information on it because that's a theory that's been around since the 70s. Weather control and mind control, all kinds of stuff for you guys who don't know. Um, but yes, I did see stuff about projection into the ionosphere, but no good science. Like I saw people in the chat saying, well, because I, I said holograms need a substrate. They need a medium. Holograms are usually projected into like a big piece of lucite, a glass or something like that. Someone in the chat said, well, they can project a hologram right into the atmosphere. No, no, they can't. I mean, it'd be cool if they could, but they can't do that. If they can, then email me that. I want to see that. This person in the chat said they use, they could project it into the atmosphere and you can't distinguish it from reality. Okay, I you know I don't know how they know that, but I'd love to see that. But but it's it is we will figure out the technology and it's going to be super cool when we do how to get the 3D image into the air somehow. And there's plenty of research happening on how to have the the light reflect off the water vapor that's in the air. But uh, so that's going to be fun but we're not there yet. But if you think we are, then email me. Email me a link. A uh, video would even be great. David Velez, 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 1999. Look up the Corrales Brazil UFO flap. There's only one docuseries on it by Red Panda Koala. UFOs terrorized the town every night for 18 months. The military got involved. Hundreds of photos, videos, yet no one has ever heard of it. I heard of this on uh, a podcast not too long ago, but David, send that in the tips line because I want to remember that because that is a great story. Uh, Brazil, uh, South America has some of the best UFO lore, not just lore, like real things <laughs> with pictures and stuff. It's just 
in America, we're very United States focused, so we don't talk about that stuff a lot. But South America has great stories. Voodoo Sue, which is better for you, $5 a week super chats or the Patreon, please let me know. Thank you, Voodoo Sue. That's nice of you to ask. Patreon is better because the channel keeps a bigger percentage of the dough. I think we keep 90% or something like that. For the super chats, YouTube keeps 40 or 50 or something like that. They keep a chunk and then they take more for withholding taxes. So creators actually get less than half. So supporting on Patreon is is better and you get more stuff. And we're starting to do more stuff. Like today we did a pre-show for Patreon members only. Um, and it's a great way to interact with where we can interact with each other because there's 15, 20, maybe 30 people on there at the most. Mostly just like 10 or 12 of us just goofing around. So Patreon be great. Uh, Carlos, wow, 49 dollars I'm a fish. I'm a lover. I'm a freak in the covers. I'm a swimmer. I'm a saint. I do not feel ashamed. Trey McAllister, nine ninety nine. Okay, that's crazy. I just joined, said hello, and then five seconds later, without dollars, you shouted me out. That's awesome. That's the simulation, Trey. That's all that is. We love the channel. Did you ever get my email about my paranormal days? I sent some vids. I saw your email, Trey. I didn't. I didn't open the videos because whenever I learned the hard way to not open videos for when people send them in. Um, but I'm gonna go back and look for those uh, being summoned. I watched them. They're good. Oh, I he thought you were saying, in. look at the videos you sent me. Those are fun. <laughs> Cat. Once in a wild. 99, I love your channel. Since we're animal lovers, we love all the cryptids. More cryptids. Would your producer channel love your work? The cryptids, though. The cryptids. Gino, do you like a cryptid? Uh, hecklefish it might be a cryptid, so... I mean, we would be the leader of the cryptid world here with uh, the, the one spokesperson who's not afraid to hide. <laughs> there, there he goes. There's, you know, everybody, Brother Y Files, Quantum Sledgehammer for 1259. Oh, thanks for the tip, Cuban. Uh, here's a tip for you don't eat the yellow snow. It's fair. Great show. Uh, your end of episode summation sounded a lot like. You could fool some people all the time or all the people some of the time, but you can't fool all the people all the time. I guess it did it's kind of sound like that. Is that Abraham Lincoln? Great kids reads $5. PPP is possible if done. Oh, Project Bluebeam is possible if done slowly and incidents are spaced out. Crews making earthquakes only need top secret clearance in order to keep quiet. I, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying, but. Top secret clearance is given out to way more people than you probably think, like millions of people. And it lasts for a long time. So if you get cleared, your clearance is usually good for five or 10 years. And it's lots and lots of people. And I would think with all those people, someone would talk, especially if you're making earthquakes. Like if there's a thousand people and you're making earthquakes, there's not one person with a conscience. That's what I meant about the soldiers. Like they're going to turn militaries against us there's going to be there's not going to be one soldier in there that's like eh i don't know if this is cool you know i'm being deployed to new jersey i mean what are we doing so that's that that's what i've talked about faith is i have faith that those people exist like i would believe that there's someone on that earthquake crew going why are we destroying all like why are we doing this you know we're not we're not trying to find oil we're just terrifying people I mean, are you watching the images coming out of Turkey? It is heartbreaking. I was going to use some of it on, on the show tonight, but I could. I, it was it was too close and it was too upsetting. So I just pulled like old clips from just like empty room shaking because the images coming out of Turkey are really really sad. They're really scary. Um, I watched one one video of a guy who was like he was a live streamer, and. Maybe I'll, I'll see if I could find it for you guys. So he's just talking and the room starts to shake and he's like, uh oh, and it sh shakes a little more and he bolts, of course. And then the room was shaking so much. I couldn't, I didn't even look real to me. Like stuff was falling off his shelf. Man, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. How many people have here have been in an earthquake? And I lived in LA for a long time. You've been in an earthquake. 
been in earthquakes. It's, well, because Southern California. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the first one I experienced in LA was strange because it felt like a wave, mm -hmm. like the earth was, was watery. Like I, there, I was in an earthquake in New York a long time ago and it felt more like, like someone hit the house. It was like, boom. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was in a pretty big one in Tampa. I think it was like 2007. It was the same thing. It felt like something hit the house or like a truck going by. Mm -hmm. But the earthquakes in Southern California felt like you were on the water. Right. You and Gino were in one in Vegas. We were on like the 40th floor of Trump Tower. And Gino, of course, is asleep. Because, you know, you see, you watch him on the show. And it's, and, I get my and, we're, and we're way up there. And the whole thing is shaking. And you look out the window in Vegas and everything is shaking. So, and it went on for a while. I, and Gino's asleep the whole time. I run out of the room. I'm looking down, up and down the hall. We're like in the middle of the hallway. So the elevators and, and stairs, they're way down there. I run back in the room. It's still shaking. And at that point, I felt like, you know, like when, when you grab a, a, a cat and it's fighting and fighting and fighting, and then it just stops. You know, it, it just kind of, it understands there's nothing it could do. That's kind of where I was. Like, I was like, oh, shit, I got to get us out of here. How, you know, where's the escape plan, the thing on the back of the door? And then I was like, there's no way we're getting out. And I just kind of sat there. I was <laughs> like, this is, this is how I die. And then it stopped. And then Gino gets up and he goes, what are you doing? Jumping around? I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> you mother. <laughs> Terrified. And that's what, that's what I disturbed his nap. Jesus is here for 1999. Are you familiar with the late Jordan Maxwell? I'm not. He's an icon. I'm sure you could have fun working in some of his lectures into your videos. Okay. Hey, thanks for the tip. <laughs> uh, send that in the tips line. Hey, Jesus, Jesus. And I'll, I'll definitely look into that. Brandon, thank you for the $5. I'm glad you enjoyed that video. The Iron Knight, the Ear Knight, $5. How should people armor themselves against being exploited by reflexively rejecting crisis info? Is that as, as exploitable as blind into belief? That's a great question. That's a great question because your first instinct, your first reaction is not going to be to deny it. Your first reaction is to try to protect your family, to try to do something, to try to help. Um, the only way to protect yourself from it is to just be super, super aware. But if something like Project Bluebeam or anything along that line is happening, there's really not much we can do about it at this stage. It needs to happen, or at least we need, we need to, as a group, see that enough of us need to see that this isn't right. You know, something's not right. And at that point, then then the decisions that we make will happen very quickly. You know, certainly with a, with a lot of us, we won't we're not going to sit idly by and let it happen. Dave Knight, five dollars. Chemical train, chemical train miles long sitting in California. Secure Team 10 posted about this. Very weird. Check it out. Another Ohio in the works could be. Could be. But what are the theories? Uh, you guys can talk about it in the chat. I can't talk about them, but I'd like to know what you think the theories are. John Merrick Smith for $20. Chingy, chingy, bang, bang. Nice tip, human. Please get into Operation Avarice, the classified removal of actual chemical munitions from Iraq that was not disclosed to the public. I was part of the team. Um, and it looks like you were. Look at his avatar right there. That, that, that's a man who spent some time in the sand. Um, yeah, John, send that in the tips line and send me whatever any information you're able to send i don't know if you were part of the team i'm like I'm, I'm trying to figure out what who you are based on your your avatar i'm like ah is he army was he en an engineer so i don't know but when you do the, when you submit to the tips line just give me give me a couple of nuggets so i know where to where to go and where to look and what you're allowed to share um uh oh, DSDRN for $49.99. Tippity doo da, tippity yay. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of money coming my way. 
Tippity doo ja, tippity yay. This donation is for Gino. Love seeing him on video. Long live LA Speedweed. You know she's old school if she calls it LA Speedweed. That's old school. <laughs> Absolutely. That's, that's like 2011. All right. Well, Gino weighing in as always. Weighing in as always. Uh, what uh, what I'm doing about it for $20. Ooh, thank you, human. You made my door something tingle. Ooh. Love your show and that you foster such a positive, open view of the world. Healthy skepticism, I think they call it. Thank you and Hecklefish for the laughs. My tinfoil is, hat is off to you. Well, thanks for what I'm doing about it. I'm trying to look at what you're doing in the in the icon there. And, um, hey, nice profile pic, human. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. Oh, someone, is he, is he doing the Superman? Oh, he lost and Someone's... And in overalls, and there's someone. Is that a naked person down there, or just topless, he shirtless? And he's showing the difference and how big his clothes used to be. Oh, am I on mute? No, no, you're not on mute. That's my side. <laughs> she did and, say it five times. And what, Jenny? I bought you that ex that expensive microphone. You won't even use it. <laughs> no, you can't hear me. I can hear I you. You sound like this. Well, when I move it closer, it picks up off my speakers, and then it gives you echo and feedback. Sounds you good. Move it away, like uh, no, no, no. It's on an arm, so you don't have to move in. You could actually move it out. I know. I just. Back I'm up sorry. You know. Again. You know. Women in technology, guys. You understand how they are. <laughs> Sherry Tyus, too, is Tyus. Thank you for the ten dollars. Appreciate that. Demonic hordes is back. Black eyed kids, you will do it. Demonic hordes. I don't. I don't know why. Just demonic hordes. Why though? With your name, when you set up your Gmail account. For YouTube, that's what came to you. And my question to you is why, though? Why demonic hordes? Um, yeah, I mean, I've got questions. Marcus Erickson for $5. How do we know when we're being watched? You catch him staring at you from a crowded room. You turn and lock eyes with that one person. It happens a lot. You know, that is a phenomenon that is – no one understands that. And – uh. I remember reading about this and uh, it was a couple of scientists arguing about it where one was saying, you know, how you could feel someone looking at you from behind. Right. And one scientist was saying it's a myth. You know, you, obviously you can't, we can't see it, so we can't feel it. But this other scientist was saying, yes, we can. And he was saying it's part of the limbic system, like part of your amygdala. That's, that's a defense mechanism that all mammals have that we just have this ability to sense when a predator is near and it just sort of evolved into, it's just a weird guy on the plane staring at me, you know, trying to look at my iPad over my shoulder. Um, but if that's true, how interesting is that? Because there's no, we don't hear it and we don't see it yet. We feel it. So how is that information being transferred and what, how are we receiving that information? I don't know. There, there might be a video in there somewhere. Carlos, forty nine ninety nine. Wow, very generous of you. Um, look at Carlos playing the guitar, just shredding, shredding on YouTube and dropping fifty bucks into the bucket. I'm so happy to have found this page. Please investigate the case of Enrique Castillo Rincon. I had the pleasure of meeting him, and he was a UFO UAP contact contactee and very sophisticated engineer. Um, send that in the tips line, Carlos. I'll definitely look into that. I like a a, a contactee. Uh, I'm being flagged down, but I like a contactee who's sophisticated because you don't want the, how many, a lot of them are a little wacky. You want a guy who just sounds grounded. So I'm just giving you some stats. We're at oh, eight o'clock. I, I can I can hear you now. You like stats, so we're at eight o'clock. Um, there oh. are nine thousand and sixty-seven people watching, and uh, you have a hundred and sixty-one starred that you haven't read yet. Oh. Oh, that's how that's because you're deleting them. So yes. I'm looking up there going, oh, well, there's only 161 this week. So it's not that many. We're cruising along. No, I've been removing them so you don't get lost 
when you go to something else and you come back and you go, oh, no, wait. Also, you've been going for an hour and a half. It's time to do a drawing. Do a drawing. Oh, let's we're supposed to do those every hour. Yes, let's do a giveaway. All right, let's do, let's do a giveaway. Um, all right, I'm going to set up the giveaway. Oh. oh, hi, everyone. <laughs> what are we giving away? Um, we're going to give away a $50 gift card to the Wi Fi store. So what kind of stuff can so you get on the store? You can get all kinds of things on the store. The mugs, Hecklefish is my spirit animal. You can get t shirts, you can get cell phone cases, pet bandanas, um, hoodies, which are really cool. I am working on oh, Wi Files t shirts. <laughs> you can get, I'm working on another hat. Uh, so there's that. Uh, the mugs are very popular. I'm reading um, in the chats as well. So let's see. What he'll do here is he will give everybody, <laughs> people are already starting to type in there. He's going to give us a word to type in to the chat. Now, it has to be spelled exactly how he says it or puts it up on the screen, even um, all caps. So typically he does all caps and you just type it in and then we'll draw from everybody who put it in properly. Am I allowed to win? No. no. Oh, I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were very oh, yeah. serious about that. <laughs> And apparently the cat has just decided he's going to chill out back here and take a nap. So, so that's good. Uh, been, Barry's asking about the hecklefish plushie working on it. We may have a really cool idea for the plushies that hopefully we will be announcing soon. So I'm excited and he's back and there oh, he is. Wait. Wait, that's not right yet. That's the, that's not right. No. Um, giveaway. No, turn that off. Oh, can you see that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. What is our what is our word? How about Illuminati? Ooh. Illuminati. Ooh, that's a good one because it's some people may not spell it properly. Right, which I mean, I have to get the chat ready because I like to watch them misspell it. Is that rude? No. I don't want to be rude. Um, actually, I could watch the chat here. Oh, there's the live chat. Oh, they're already typing Illuminati though. Uh, Cubic H, Illuminate is wrong. That's that's not gonna do it. Um, so did Jen explain how this works? You have to type in the word exactly as you see it on the screen. The word is Illuminati. Um, I don't think it has to be all caps, but it's probably safe to do that. Um, Paul is putting in Illuminati. Not not going to win, but certainly <laughs> certainly a good T-shirt idea. Oh, now I'm going to have to make a picture of Mr. Naughty, but bright, oh, and we'll yeah. call him the Illuminati. Jenny, can oh, you put that? It. Can you put that on your notebook, please? Illuminati. Yep. Oh, uh, everyone's spelling it right. Oh, oh, neon, neon, oh, w, neon owns 12 did put, uh, put in a Luma, a Lumina typo. Very, very funny. Um, <laughs> why files viewers are very, very funny. No, everyone's got it right. It's very, I'm very disappointed. <laughs> very disappointed. Well, um, Susanna Rio says, hello all from Australia. QLD, uh, QLD. Good day. Good day from Queensland. Uh, James Moore, you know we cannot speak of the handshake. No, we cannot speak of it, James. Uh, well, we've got 656 people in there. Do we draw it? I know we're on a little bit of a delay. Let's wait um, a few more Giovanni seconds. Rodriguez, that's not correct. Better check yourself. <laughs> Casey, yay, we can spell. <laughs> Congratulations, dear. <laughs> Um, Louis two X ill lumen. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Very funny. Kevin Clover. Right. Now they're just goofing around. Now they're just, they're just jacking around in the chat. Adam says that AJ is Rob Lowe and Gino is Kenneth Branagh. <laughs> <laughs> those, are, those were nice compliments. I, guys. I don't know what that means. They're talking um, looks wise. Oh, looks wise. Yes. I don't know. I think I'd rather be Kenneth Branagh. Uh, Alpaca Megapoint Illumina Gun 2, 
Uh, Freedom Creek, how many politicians does it take to turn on an Illuminati? None because, oh, and the chat left. The chat scrolled before I got to the punchline of his joke. None because they don't truly have the power the people do. That was the, that's the punchline. Wow. And you'd expect that from someone named Freedom Creek. All right, All right we're at so 787. I, what do you think? Should I, should I go for it? Let's do it. Uh, all right. The wheel is spinning. The wheel is spinning. I, I see a lot of names. I know it's Josh RG, uh, D Ving, soon to be Thomas James, Matt S, Dave McGinley, and the winner is J.R. Staffelt. Yay. Um, Victoria, can you tell J.R. Staffelt what he has to do? He needs to come to the Discord and put in a help desk ticket and ask for Victoria, but I'm going to ask for your name and your email. Oh, that's that's her radio voice with a little up speak there. Did you hear that? Victoria, mm -hmm. can you do that one more time? No. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, you know what? There she goes. <laughs> All right. I'm only kidding. All right. So JR is going to hit her up on the Discord. Yes. Hey, Kane, the young lady in the <laughs> denim shirt is exquisite. And if that's your wife, well played, old boy. Thank you, A. Kane. That's very, very nice of you. All right. Thank you, A. Kane. Keep your eyes to yourself. Um, all right. Going back to the the super chats. Um. Okay. Oh, do we get do we get Carlos already? Uh, yeah, we got you. Carlos is going to put that in the tips line. Quantum sledgehammer. Uh, oh, he's back for 1259. Thanks to a contact in the Illuminati and the New World Order, I finally figured out the mystery of why Hecklefish's voice is so recognizable. He's definitely the voice in my head. No, he's not. Yes, he is. All right. There you go. Here you go. You're on the right channel, my friend. Broken Angel Wonders for $10. Hey, can you do an episode on uh, Spring Heel Jack and some other urban boogeyman men? Love your shows, Hecklefish. Oh, I'd like to see an episode on this, too. Get off your lazy human ass and do it. Drop that in the tips line, and uh, we'll take a look at that. spring -heel Jack comes up a lot. And I don't know. I, I haven't done him because I kind of stay away from the, you know, the uh, the crime ones. Because we've got the what files uh, coming up to handle those. But I'll, I'll, take a, I'll take another look at spring -heel Jack. A lot of people want that one. Sherry Tice is back $5. Hubby and I love your channel. Eagerly await your new videos weekly. Keep it up. I'm going to try, Sherry. Until they come get me. James Brock, 99. Long Island, born and raised. Strong Island, rarely. B, listen to radio ad, and they rarely played metal. Who are you and what station do I know your voice from? I was mostly on BAB on the Island Brock. I started out on, uh, on Island 94.5. But I was mostly in BAB. If you listen to rock, that's where you know me from. Rachel Boland Ulstad for ten dollars. Absolutely love the show. Intelligent and funny. I'm not sure if this is good or bad, but my cat even loves hecklefish. Cat, cat. I see him. He's acting like he doesn't hear you. Yeah, I see. I know he's listening. He's listening, but he's I see you. Like he doesn't because he's mad because you're not here. So, well, he'll get over it. Here's writer Cleve Bourbon is back for 1023. Hey guys, great show. I love sending you odd amounts of money because it makes AJ crazy. It does. It does. It bothers my OCD because I don't know if it's a message. When someone says like 1251, it just, uh, I don't trust that. And I also don't trust like the 3999. I don't know why the extra penny isn't in there, but I think writer Cleve, I think it's, I think because you enjoy watching me squirm. Uh, Deeb, DB, Deeb, DB, con, con, fi, con, fi, fi, DB, $10, some interesting info being shared on Telegram, things we can't share on YouTube. Well, that Telegram is good for that stuff. Um, but I, I, I have a Telegram account. I'm hardly ever on there. Uh, Michael Cro Cockroft, 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 49.99. Love the channel Astral Projection when you get a chance. Merch is great. Keep it up. Speaking of merch. If you want to support your favorite YouTube channel, you can go to shop to the We've got fear the crab cat mugs, all kinds of different mugs, uh, t-shirts. You know what? I mean, while we're talking about it, we might as well just take a look. Right, Michael, this was your idea. This wasn't, I was just going to let it go. Look, do we have anything new on there? 
We haven't added anything new in a while, have we? No, but I'm going to add a few things over the weekend because we have some good stuff to add. Oh, wait, you can't even see that because I got the wrong thing up. Hang on. This is just, it's not professional at all. Just well. really not professional. Do we have some new stuff to add? Yes, I have some new stuff to add, some new T-shirts and some new mugs. And and look at the prices, guys. Twenty bucks. I don't. Why is that thirty bucks? Oh, it's, because a, it's a polo. It's a polo with embroidered logo on it. Nineteen bucks. You know, no thirty dollars T-shirts here. It's only thirty dollars because it costs us like twenty four. Take it easy. I said no thirty dollars <laughs> T-shirts here. Oh right. Right. There she goes. Uh, Zanitho, submit a topic suggestion or just say hi. Uh, the wifiles.com slash tips. Zanitho's dropping plugs. But yeah, so the tips line is that that's the best way to get a topic uh, researched. And everything that we cover on the channel comes from the tips line. It comes from you guys uh, or from Gino. The dude, 087, $10. Hey, have you thought about doing the James Dean cursed car and flight 401 with haunted parts that were used in planes and other cars that cause them harm or death to those involved? Hell, uh, uh, I see why that you're interested in that particular story there, the dude. Yeah, the um, I just couldn't do a full episode on the James Dean car because there's just a few things, right? He died in it, and then what happened? Then it did they kill someone when they, they rolled it off the truck? And there was one more, uh, but maybe we can do haunted stuff, haunted objects. I'd like to do a ghost story in the short, in the near, near future. So that could be one to do. Bing Q, thank you for the $20. Dude, thank you for the tip. This human knows what's up. BCS Battle Control Systems, the air defense that NORAD uses, monitors the air. Developed by Thales, Raytheon, and Hanscom AFB, redeveloped after 9-11 failure, revamped in 2011. It's the system used to spot the balloons. Thank you. I don't know if, are you responding to a question I put out there? Or are you just giving us a, a tech breakdown? He's responding to something we were talking about at like 7 o'clock. Yeah, well, it's 8-17. I know. I'm just saying. Well, thanks, Thank you. Um... Sounds like you've, sounds like you worked in, the, you were in the service. Wade Vasquez, thank you for the nine ninety nine. There's Randy Cox, another great show tonight. Thank you and team. I love the excellent entertainment and forward content. Professional production, of course. Like it's just hard to read all those, Randy. All the compliments are very nice. Just I'm uncomfortable reading it, but I'm going to leave it up on the screen so you could read it. I'm going to say your name again, Randy Cox. Randy Cox. It's a fun word to say. Mm -hmm. Right? You know what that reminds me of? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Naughty's here. And I think I think we have a Mr. Naughty t-shirt coming, don't we? Oh, we yeah. have. Mr. Naughty t-shirt and uh, boxers or PJ pants. So. That's <laughs> 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 All right, everybody loves a little puppet show, huh? Huh? Okay. You fellas know what I'm talking about. World's okay as carpenter for ten dollars. Are you gonna do a special on Robert Monroe and the CIA Gateway Project? Uh yes, world's okay as the carpenter. And don't be so down on yourself here. I think you're one of the world's best carpenters. Um I'm a big fan of Robert Monroe and his work. And um yeah, CIA Gateway Project is a great idea. That's on the short list. Young Astro, 1999, loves the videos. Saw the orange Zim Zammers UFOs. Really crazy to see. Thought I broke my brain, but nephew saw one. Friend got it on video. All out adjacent between a military base and testing facility. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'd like to see that video, Young Astro. Kick it, kick, kid. I don't know. Something with a K, but I appreciate the $10. Kick it, kick it. I just, I wish there was another vowel in there somewhere. Brian Brennan, thank you for the $20. There's Matt Aston for $20. Ooh, I like the way you tip me. No diggities. Just tip me up. Hey, sorry I missed most of the live stream. Well, I tried waiting for you, Brian, as long as, uh, Matt, as long as I could. I couldn't hold it anymore. Keep killing it. I worked on 5827, the C-130 that was involved with the Chinese weather balloon over Alaska. 
it's getting serious over here. Now, I'd like to hear that story. Um, well, on the C-130, are you up in the air on the C-130 or are you ground crew? Email me, Matt. I like dogs. $5, another great job. What are your thoughts on Russian misinformation and the troll farm? Keep up the great work. Hecklefish for Prez. Fear the crab cat. Um, I don't know the troll farm. You guys know what the troll farm is? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Yeah. We don't know that when I like dogs, but Rus Russian misinformation is always a, a good topic. I, it's it, it's hard to, f to know what the right information is, like with what's going on in Ukraine, because Ukraine has their own bucket of misinformation. So I, I, no one really knows. It seems like the, at least what I've found, the most consistent and truest information is actually coming from, from British intelligence. It's not Russia or Ukraine or the U.S. British intelligence seems to have the most consistent information, but I don't know who's telling the truth. I don't think anybody does. Uh, Ramadula is a fun word to say for $10. Hey, I've got a challenge for you. While doing a live feed, can you drink a glass of water whilst Hecklefish talks? Stay tuned for challenge number two. So there's a list of challenges. Um, yeah, I guess I could do that, but he doesn't... He never, doesn't... I mean, he only comes in the live streams through... Uh, you know, through the, the Zoom, I guess. Yeah, well, I'll drink some water next time he sings a, a tip song. And then I'm looking forward to challenge number two. Hey, there's Elizabeth Vanderveer. I told you she'd be here tonight. Corey Edwards, thank you for the $10. Fired from my old job. So cheapskate. Loose. I'm sorry to hear that, Corey. Love AJ Hecklefish. Hecklefish, I still want my voicemail greeting. AJ, ignore haters. You're epic. You're no Hecklefish, but you're learning. I'm trying, Corey. Um, I don't know, do... Do I owe you a voicemail greeting? Email me to remind me, and uh, and we'll take care of that. I saw you nodding, like he's right. Probably, he's probably right. Yeah, we'll we'll take care of that. Uh oh, uh, I'm in. TJ said challenge Gino. To poker. <laughs> so, Gino, is there a platform, a poker platform for real money, where we can set up our own game? Uh, no, not the real money. Uh, can we set up a game for fake money where we can all play and people and the audience can play? And maybe we can give away stuff. Yes, that is very possible. Uh, you, you could do that through even on our discord. You could actually do that. Yeah. Um, that's number one. Number two is uh, we could set up tournaments within um, a, a, an app like Poker Stars uh, as long as we're not playing for real money. So we could set up a tournament like multiple tables playing at the same time up to a final table? Absolutely. Okay. So TJ, yeah. challenge accepted. And we'll set up a Wi Files poker tournament. I keep hearing that Jen plays poker, but I don't know. Hey. Scott Clark, thank you for $5. Wi Files is. That's your favorite channel. Missed you last week. Snowden said the UAP shootdowns were a distraction from the Nord Stream bombing, which was US up. Yep. I tend to believe him. He doesn't know, but I tend to believe Snowden on that um, because that that was very strange. Corey 499 just noticed the heckle of his shirt on Impractical Jokers. Yes. And what was cool is there is a picture of Murr and the guys and he's wearing the shirt that was in the New York Post a couple of days ago. But I don't have that picture handy. So that was cool to see. Uh, Thomas, I wonder, Corey, did you notice the shirt without me telling you that it was going to be there? Like, were you just watching the show and like, ah, that's Hecklefish? I'd like to know that. Um, I wonder if anyone recognized his shirt. And he has him, by the way, he has him in every color that we make, Mur. Um, Maybe if I could log into Instagram, maybe I'll do it later. I'll play you a couple of the voicemails he sent me. are very funny. Thomas James, $5. Everyone asks who is the, the Illuminati, but nobody asks how is the Illuminati. All right? All right. Andy B for $10. Hey, at Hecklevision Co. is wondering if you would possibly do a video on Travis Walton and his abduction case. I put it on. I put it in a tip to the tip line. I know you are swamped. I am swamped, Andy B. But if it's in there, then we're going to read it, and we will get to it. Alec Hill for $10. Speaking of, did you see Rihanna putting up the Illuminati symbol following her Super Bowl appearance? 
it was while the TVs were showing the fireworks outside and it's being heavily censored. Um, I'm pretty sure that Rihanna doesn't know anything about Illuminati. No, I saw it. She did. Uh, it, there's a big conspiracy with Jay-Z and Beyonce and Rihanna and a bunch of artists. They do. They all do the, the triangle symbol at Lakers games. And she did it. I saw the video. She did it. while And she it's po- right. Doing that. And all those names that you listed. I guarantee that they do not get invited to Bohemian Grove or Bilderberg or WEF. They're billionaires. Uh, that they, they don't care about that. Well, they, we'll see. They don't care about that because um, cause Zuckerberg doesn't get invited to those either. I'm just saying that when you're talking about celebrity personalities that lots of young people watch. Yeah. They can influence a lot of people. Just saying. Um, if you're out there, kids, don't be influenced by Rihanna. Don't do that. Uh, Kathy Paro, thank you for the 999. Don't be influenced by Jay-Z. Really, uh, get a better role model. Colby Cooler, Cooler for $10. Thank you for keeping us informed. Keep us pondering. I'm pondering. What was that? That was a, a great Neil Young, Young song from the 80s. You remember that one? I'm wondering. I'm wondering. It's a deep cut. Yeah. Gino doesn't. He doesn't know what I'm talking about. He's cloudy over there. Thank you for keeping us informed. Keep us pondering. Say hi. Got to say hi to Hanklefish. And of course, me. I listen every day to keep stimulated. Keep up the amazing work. I'm glad to stimulate you, Colby. Judah Thompson. <laughs> Judah Thompson, great show tonight. Hey, my dad got a new job today. Can you give him a shout out? Hey, dad. Hey, Rocky. Hey, Rocky. Rocky. Hey, hey Rocky. Watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. Brian Waddle for $5. We're glad you made this video. My wife and I already binge watch everything else. We love Hecklefish, and I guess I'm okay, too. All right, well. Hey, pretty smart for a human. Bing Q helped develop the VCS and could explain how it works, but it would debunk uh, your, your viewers' UFO theories. I, I know. I know, but I try not to – I try to keep an open mind and keep – I try to get as much science in there as I can, Bing Q, to try to explain how they could be real. But there is going to be a chunk of folks, a sizable percentage of people, especially on this channel, that they're just going to believe it. And it doesn't matter what you say or what I say. They're just going to believe it. And I think that's okay. Uh, Max Overhang, thank you for the 1999. All your moon are belong to us. A little riff on all your base belong to us. Uh, Keith Blay, have you ever looked into Dr. Judy Wood? I have not. I have not, Keith. But if you send that in the tips line, I guarantee I will. Paul is back for 1337. That spells leak. Create, create a channel, The More Files, for longer form, 45 to two hour videos he'd watch. Two hours. See that face right there? That's the face of fear. Two hours. Um, I like the idea, Paul. But that's a long one. Maybe down the line, you know, maybe if... Someone else could host the Wi Fi. Can you host the Wi Files? Um, KG Slasher, $50. I'm a fish and I'm a star. So put more dough in my jar. The type of vodka that I need is Belvedere. I need oh. to buy a tinfoil hat. So please click the super chat. We all know the government is listening. And thank you for the super sticker. There's Mark Levine. Anything on William Cooper? Not, nothing yet too much, Mark, because it's it, it would get censored. 
all the good stuff about Cooper's would be censored. You know, the 9-11 stuff. But Behold Pale Horse, everyone should read that. Ram Adula, I just love saying it because I want to say, I want to add Ding Dong to the end of your name. <laughs> And now you're da you're dancing to Ramadula Ding Dong. Yeah, I was singing it in my head. Victoria likes, it, and she's doing it too. Ramadula Ding Dong. All right. Challenge number two: Explain why you don't believe in ghosts after living in a haunted house. Thank you. Love you guys. Show you got the best thing on YouTube. Yeah, I know I'm a bit of an enigma, I'm a bit of a hypocrite, I guess. Because just because I don't believe in ghosts, it's it it's I'm not a, I'm not hardcore on it. I'm not like no. I'm like I don't believe in ghosts because i've never seen evidence of some of any of a single one but if a ghost walked through here right now you i would tear ass out of here it'd be i'd be embarrassed so there is a part of my mind that's open to it that's available to oh hang on hang on she wants well more words. what do you think shadow people are then because you did have an old hag experience i think shadow i think shadow people experiences sleep paralysis and hypnagogic hallucinations. But why are there so many people that see the same thing? Because we all fall asleep the same way using the same physiology. Right. But if that were the case, wouldn't everybody only see the man in the hat or everybody only see the, the hag, the old hag? Why are there? And some people just see these amorphous blobs. That's what I'm saying. If it's everybody has the same physiology, I could see everybody saying, oh, we all see the amorphous blob or we all see the black figure shaped as a shadow. But why the man in the hat or why the old crone that crawls on you and grabs your junk? Like that's different. That's not the same people seeing the same things. Gino's trying to figure out what I just said. <laughs> so I'm just curious. Jeremy Riddig, ninety nine ninety nine. Yo yo, yo yo, la yo yo. Fish really need some money. I need to buy some stuff. Fish really need some money. YouTube don't pay enough. Fish really need some money. So click the super chat. Like that, that, yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, he, he's doing the best he can. This is my first ever super chat. You always remember your first, Jeremy. I don't subscribe to too many channels, but I love yours. It's an intelligent approach, and I am hooked. You definitely deserve this. Please keep going. Well, I appreciate that. It's very kind of you, and it's it's nice to uh, be your first super chat. And it really helps. It really helps the channel. Obey, obey, obeys it, obeys it. $10 AJ, a longtime reader of the Fortean and Skeptical Inquirer. Cool. I haven't heard that in a while. I'm familiar with most topics, but your presentation skills are so great. I listen as if it's new. Thanks for great work. You Thank you for the kind words. See, now we talked about ghosts and the guy who doesn't believe. I'm now freaked out. Something's on the roof. Well, uh, Gino stayed here. You know, at night, crazy sounds here, right? Absolutely. And you're also disregarding that you've seen things move with your own eyes as a kid in a house that we uh, all witnessed. So you've seen paranormal things that you're just disregarding. And you really, there's no more reliable eyewitness than a room full of 10 year olds playing Dungeons and Dragons. That's, <laughs> that's that glass did move and uh, had made a 90 degree angle right off the counter. Smash. He's not lying. It, it did happen. Uh, you know, I just wish I could have seen the guy, the ghost, the hand or something. But it was, we saw it. Something happened. And nobody liked to go in that basement alone or at night. All right, Brian. All right, he's giving me some, some phonetic. Brian Mli, Mlinar. Mlinar? Yeah, can you help me out with the pronunciation? Mlinar. Mlinar. Say again. Mlinar. Yeah, she didn't get it right. My Transylvanian ancestors were too cheap to to buy to buy a vowel. Very funny. We have a funny community. Vincent Ancelone, which I I have to say it like that every time because a Ancelone is a good Italian name, and b look at the gold chains in your avatar. Look, 
I mean, I can't tell from because of the shirt, but I guarantee there's fur under that collar there, Vincent, right? That's Big Vinny. Gold chains. That's not gold chains. He's got on a lanyard. He's holding up a badge. That is a that is an Italian man with a furry, hairy chest, a gold chain holding up a white castle. Okay. Great. That's good. We need to get you new glasses, so I will make a lens crafter's appointment for you tomorrow. It looks like my cousin. <laughs> my cousin? Cousin Johnny? All my wife wanted was a Fear the Crab Cat mug, but they're sold out. But we love you guys. Seriously, get the mugs back in, in stock. I didn't, that can't be right. Because they, they, they print them on demand. Hang on, we're going we're gonna to find it. Hang on, it would take one second. And look, this is shop.thewifiles.com. You want to support your favorite YouTube channel or support this channel. Either one. Oh, there we go. There we go, Vincent Anceloni. There's your Fear the Crab Cat mug. Um, and it's only $16. Right? So you tip 20 so I guess I owe you 4 So yeah, that mug's in stock. Chase F, thank you for the 1999. Elizabeth Woodward just found us and thinks we're fabulous. This human knows what's up. Well, thanks, Elizabeth. I think you're pretty great too. Keith Blay, thank you for the twenty dollars. Elizabeth, now the wife is gone. Now we can now we can really talk. Now we can really get down to business. No, it's a disapproving, disapproving look. Uh, casual Vader, thank you for the five dollars. Tony B tiles are good, sir. May the force be with you and 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 be with you. Tony B tiles, that's coming up. It's just not that long of an episode, so I'm trying to find some more information to to get in there for you. But yeah, it's a great story. Anarchy Jones, thank you for the ten dollars. Caller, 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 something to see five dollars. Can you do an episode on goblins? You know, they are fairy folk too. I did not know that. Also, can we send you our song about goblin riddles and battle? You absolutely email me anything you want. AJ at the I, I get surprisingly, a surprisingly low amount of email. I actually get more messages on Patreon than I get email in my email box. So you can email that over. Um, I'm working on an episode about the Kentucky goblins, which I think you'll like. It's a great story. It's just not up to it yet, but that one is coming. Caller, Caller, Caller Ghosts. Caller goes, hey, Anarchy Jones, I, I, I got you. Frank Hammond, $10. Man, keep this stuff up, please. Dan Yahtzee, thanks for supporting the channel, human. Thanks for supporting the channel, Frank. Jay Baker, thanks for a great episode. We're, we're, we're really enjoying your channel. Get Hecklefish done, Brian Shrimp. Can you read that with a southern accent? Thanks for the great episode. We're really enjoying your channel. Get Hecklefish done, Brian Shrimp. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, it just sounded like that, didn't it, in your brain? It did. Colton Collins, thank you for the $8. Never missed an episode. That's really nice of you, Colton Collins. Lawrence Schreiber, thank you for the nine ninety nine. Oh, here we go. Uh, Brian Sincerbo with eleven eleven. Hecklefish singing... What the world needs now is what I needed now. Hey, Heckle, can you can you sing? Can you get that one going? What the fish needs now? A tips, sweet tips. They're the only thing to bring a smile to my little lips. Or buy a shirt. A mug or a hat If it's easier Just click The super chat <laughs> You like little lips, don't you? That's fantastic I haven't heard that one yet Well, she hasn't been paying attention um, But I'm Jesus Christ Because you heard it, you heard it before Victoria knew, she did, yeah well, that's because when you eat ice cream, everything closes out around you. It's just, if you notice, it, I went and put it away. You and ice cream, and then nothing else exists in the world. As it should be. As it should be. 
I hope you got your 11 11 worth there, Brian. Uh, now, now you got me into spat with the wife. I'm in Dutch. <laughs> Drew Allen for 3333. Will Bluebeam will fake a nuke war with 5G used to give the radioactive coup de gras the coup de grace? I love your channel. Keep up the good works. You get squeezed up quite a few conspiracies in there, Drew. I like it. I got my money's worth. Um, hard to fake a nuke war, though, huh? Jake, but I, we haven't been closer. I, we're closer now than, than the Cuban Missile Crisis, I think. Uh, uh, Jake, Shadow Citizen, $5, 9, 10 p.m. ECT. If you need visuals, I'm a lapsed photographer wanting a reason to get back into it. I could maybe help. What is this human even talking about? Uh, I think it was something we were talking about earlier. Oh, at oh, 9, p it, 9 p.m. Eastern Central go. Time. So It was something uh, we were talking about earlier. Yeah. There she goes. Dylan Williams for 999. So how far back does the secret societies ruling the world go? Like it is the same society that keeps going back. Oh, the like is, is like colloquial. Like, is it the same society that keeps going era after era that evolve, or do different ones rise from the others? That's a great question. It's, I mean, if I had to guess, which I guess I have to, I think it's, I think it's kind of the same people or the same same group, the same cadre. This, you know, the super wealthy that have been super wealthy forever. Um, <clears throat> but there's also the pentaveret, right? Which is right. The, the, the Rothschilds, the Rothschilds, the, Getty, the Vatican, the Queen, the Queen, the, the Vatican. So, yes. So the the Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Queen, the Vatican, and uh, Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders with his wee beat eyes. Right, and you hate the Colonel. Well, because he makes you crave that chicken fortnightly, smartass. That's right. A little so I married an axe murderer for you folks. Deep cut, deep cut. Anarchy Jones for ten dollars. A blue beam went through my house once. Have you heard of this before? I have. I have. That's that's the infamous blue beams through the house. It happens a lot. Don't worry about it. You're gonna be fine. Vincenzo, Vincenzo, five dollars. Uh AJ, thank you, Mrs. Y Files, for the time and effort you put on into all these amazing videos. Well, thank you, Mrs. Y Files. You really, you really put in Don't a lot. Don't you? Don't you? And we forgot the Rockefellers. Somebody corrected us. I don't think they're in the Pentaveret. The Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Vatican, the Queen, and the Colonel with his wee beady oh. eyes. It's not Rockefellers. Right. There wasn't. Sorry. You think someone in the chat is going to know that movie better than we do? No. No. Uh, and thanks to Victoria and the Discord crew. Victoria getting a big shout out. <laughs> And look, look how pleased she is. She even gave you the jazz hands. That's amazing. Bruce W for ten dollars. Have you ever thought about doing a story stories about the big three theory there behind the majority of the massive disasters and events in the last thirty years? I, th I think about it frequently, Bruce, but they, they would never let me do it. The 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 YouTube would never allow such a thing. Uh, Ricky Racer for ten dollars, but Rumblewood, Rumblewood. I told you guys, Rumble reached out, right? Reached out to what's the feature of the channel. I said, yeah, go for it. Ricky Racer for $10. Can you do a show on what the, maybe the Wi Files, the chemtrails are all about? Please. We are bombarded every weekend, all day here on the West Coast. Absolutely love the channel. Look at, look at Ricky's picture, huh? That's an, he's, is he, he's like a bouncer or something, right? Look how tough he looks. You wouldn't mess with that, dude. No. 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 But, but you're not really confrontational. You don't really go around picking fights, do you? Not normally, no. No, but you prefer. I, I won't hide from one. You wouldn't hide from a fight. No. Um, I could do chemtrails, Ricky, but it's not going to be as fun as you think. I could do. We could do an episode about all the theories about them because there's plenty of those. Hmm. You have to let me know. Because they're mostly debunkable. Nick Carr for five dollars. If you can do Black Eyed Kids, <laughs> then you can do Cryptids. I know they aren't your favorite. Love the show. This week's episode was perfect timing. I'm glad you think so, Nick. Um, what cryptid do we do next? 
The dog man didn't work out. Uh, what did we do? We did Chupacabra. What did no, Jersey we, Devil? We didn't do no. We we we've done the wolf. The we've done wolf the wolf. Man, we've done the that, wolf man. And that one got demonetized. <laughs> yeah. So that, and and so you which did a couple giants, but you haven't. That's the only ones that you've done. I'd like to do a little more giants. There's a good one coming up on my list. Oh, you have a list of, and giants are on it. Yep. Paul is back for ten dollars. Paul, ten only ten. Paul, <laughs> joking, of course. It's very generous. You said you've been making a lot of super chats yourself. What live streams do you like watching? Where can we find you in the wild? Um, live streams that I watch that I can talk about on this stream. Ah, I, we could talk about those in Discord. There's no reason to talk about. Because I watch some live streams that are uh, controversial, Paul, is why. I don't want to put them out here because some people might not want to hear what I'm watching. But I'll talk about it on Discord or, you know, privately. Millie, Millie, Millie for 1111 loves the show. Could you check out the Sri Yantra mystery? What happened in the Oregon desert in the summer of 1990? Keep up the great work. Yeah, we can talk about that. Great idea. Send it in. Send it in the tips line, Millie. You heard what the man said. Colin F. for $15. The Wi-Fi's check out at the BCI guys. They cover brain-computer interfaces, which you covered in this video. That's true. I did. Um, I don't know if I want to see it. The... Uh, some of the technology is cool. The clip that I used in tonight's video, the guy was controlling a remote control robot that was on his desk. It was pretty crazy. He was had it moving around and shooting a little laser cannon from his brain. It was pretty wild. But I, I, that's about as far as I go before I start to get uncomfortable with the BCI. You know, I don't like the idea of a, a chip being in. Up, oh, hang on, we're being she, we're being interrupted one more time. I'm hailing you. So a couple of a couple of channel just things that we need to do. Somebody's asking how they join the Discord. Can you put the link up? All right. So he put that in there. Uh, I think we should do a, another giveaway. It's 847. And then you've got your, you've got 127 still to go through. And don't forget this. Applebee's. So don't eat the 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 Deo salad with the with the soggy croutons, huh? No, don't do that. And Victoria doesn't want me to eat that either. No. You. So giveaway. Oh. Oh. All right. So it's giveaway time. Let's see uh, if I can get this to work now. Uh, go with this, right? Yeah. Somebody said you should have soggy croutons be the. <laughs> no, 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 not this no, one. No, 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 no. Hang, hang on. Sorry, Mary Jones. We'll get you next time. <laughs> is that how you spell croutons? Yeah, no. Yes, it is. Yeah, he didn't mean to. So we're going to use that one. So soggy croutons, all one word, all capital letters. Soggy croutons. Let me see what's going on in the chat. Uh, Yo-Yo Smuggler is a number one Hecklefish fan. That's cool. Um, LOL, why would you put croutons in salad? Croutons. You're not, you're not from this country, clearly. Uh, the Book of Thomas that led me to North Carolina. Okay. Elon paid forty-four billion dollars for this privilege. <laughs> oh, that's that must be someone watching from Twitter. Uh, is, did he get his money's worth? Uh, I don't know. Tita Meeks, soggy croutons. That's not going to work. No space in between. Soggy croutons. CJ, CJ Holocombs got it. Raw tiger, half-eaten salad. He's got it right. Um, I'm j I just want Victoria to go ahead and say that name for us. Help me out. Which one? The one it's at the on bottom of the screen. Just a couple more somewhere. There it goes. Oh. I sip. Yeah, that one. 
Is it is it a butter? <laughs> okay. How dare you? How dare she? That's someone's name. Is it butter mo broking? Now she's just making fun and it's mean. No, she's reading it. No, I'm telling you, Southern. Well, Isipabata Moboranga Gang, may I apologize <laughs> on behalf of of my team? It's very rude. And then in ten minutes, I'm going to call last call on the super chats. Yeah, to get rid of that so that we, but we want to get to them because. <laughs> I love this kind of I love this message from Griffin. That's just I love it. Well, There's three questions probably, because that's a, that tells me all kinds of information about about Griffin right there. I got a whole case, picture. Griffin is is wondering we're doing a giveaway right now and if you put in the word saggy crouton so <laughs> Somebody else said that in the chat and it caught my eye. I'm sorry. Long cat with soggy wonder bread. Yep. Oh, yep. Happy Miles with soggy croutons. Very funny. I didn't know. I You didn't tell me these people were so funny. They are funny. Sergio Gonzalez, soggy tatas, of course. <laughs> of course. Midwich, you got to put, put it in there without the, the space. Oh, Keith wants moist croutons. All right. Army Nation dropping big plugs in the chat. Where are you, Army Nation? Uh, you're already gone. Army Nation wants to get the chat up to nine thousand likes. Yeah, let's I can't see that. See, I can't see what we what we're at. Now, this is someone making fun. This animal cannibal. I want to know where you brought your glasses. They look awesome. This is someone <laughs> just making fun because these are two for five dollars <laughs> from Amazon Basics. Amazon Basics readers. That that might be point why. seven five. You're seeing big chains and chest hair in people's avatars. Well, I see chest hair where, uh, wherever I wherever I look, <laughs> constantly surrounded by it. That's probably some type of like actual disorder. Speaking that has of, speaking of, did you get new razors? <laughs> There's Jason Arthur for soggy samosas. This is not your mom's Isagi Cruitans. That's what she said. <laughs> Nicely done. Jojo Grove, 1420, just found your channel last week. It's quickly became my favorite channel. All hell hecklefish. Well, I'm sorry if tonight ruined it for you, Jojo. <laughs> this is this is the best I could do. Well, we, we have a lot of fun for the most part. Uh, Song of David R is thinking soggy bottoms. Oh. Nerds are gaming lay soggy croutons. This is very fancy, very, very fancy. Lay soggy croutons. Um, Oliver Klosov, the big question what are we actually supposed to type? LOL. <laughs> Nobody tell him. Nobody tell him. <laughs> Nobody tell him. <laughs> Scott B. Nobody tell him. Scott B. Victoria. <laughs> Barry Weeks, this is going to be our this is gonna be our word next week. <laughs> Saggy grandmas. <laughs> Saggy Somebody put in Mars. I'm missing the funny ones. It's all going by very fast. Well, this is interesting. Knit and Crochet Tiger mentions Hecklefish for President because that's a coincidence because right here I've got a Hecklefish for President coffee mug. Look at that. You can get that yourself there, uh, Knit and Crochet Tiger. You can get that at shop.thewildfiles.com. Support your favorite YouTube channel or this one. And the prices are kept pretty low. Are we ready to draw? Yes. Oh, T TJ's into toned grandmothers. <laughs> I'd like to see uh I'd like to see his his web history. Stop. <laughs> Joe Feel, soggy sausage. <laughs> no. Uh, Mega popcorn wants to know is soggy croutons code for sweaty balls. <gasps> no, there's, there's no code for that. I just say it outright. Oh, Unchain America, soggy Miss Victoria. That's not true. She's not soggy at all. She's soggy in all the right places. Stop. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Let's just do it. All right. Are we ready to spin the, spin the wheel? Yes. My God. 
Uh, uh, greatness, insane. Josh T. Ray, Papa Ida, Marietta, Ed Royal, I have a thing. John Day, Mr. Fahrenheit, Toby Cat, VA, GW, Gregory Moreno. Wiley is the winner. Oh. I can't believe it. I was hoping Wiley would win, and and he had she and they did. And Victoria, what should they do? They what should, should they go do, to Victoria and enter in a help desk ticket, and I'll take care of them on Discord. On Discord. Awesome. All right, guys, five minutes, and then we are going to call last call on the Super Chats. And that just means that he is going to, once I call last call, we'll give five minutes for anything else. Oh, Wiley, Wiley says, wow, I never won anything. Awesome. Very cool. Oh. So at 9 o'clock, we're going to do last call, and AJ will put up the banner. And then at 9.05, we're going to stop starring the Super Chats. And then he'll read the rest of the ones that we have starred. And uh, is anybody getting this? Yes, everybody's getting it. Dynamite for nine ninety nine. Uh, there she goes, ladies and gentlemen. There she goes, Mrs. Wi Files. New fan here. Your bait and switch time. Your bait and switch at times kills me, but helps me to be more level headed in my suspension uh, in belief. What are some of your favorite videos? I just fire them off at random. I like the um, the simulation theory one. I like. The Nostradamus one is fun. That's that's a that's an that's an old one. Um, the the man made UFOs was cool. The UAVs, check that one out. And if you want a weird, fun, weird, super fun, weird story, I would go at Mel's Hole. Everyone always wants to know what's going on in Mel's Hole. I just have being to flagged down again. I have to put this one up for a second because it's fantastic. Job, I'm watching you guys from a refrigerator at Home Depot. Man, I love the future. Store is about <laughs> to close. 7 3. 7-3 to you, my friend. Job sounds like a ham. On Chain America, five dollars. Please do a conspiracy on Applebee's. Jen could be the narrator with Hecklefish. <laughs> We'll start writing that one. Titano Strongman. Titan Titano Strongman. Um, how long nice is he pick you, man? <laughs> how long is Hecklefish's memory? Bet it's longer than mine. You guys are amazing and great episodes. He's got a pretty good memory. I mean, he remembered that that whole blondie rap tonight. Did you did you guys remember that song? <laughs> I remember the song. I didn't remember all the words. <laughs> but you knew the song, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Worrying if people wouldn't know that song. I think that's one of the first rap songs ever. It actually is. Mm -hmm. First mainstream ones. I think it was the first rap song to go to go gold. <laughs> that's that's old school. That's 1981 for you chillins out there. Uh, M M M M M M Martin two six one ninety nine. Love your work. Do you think you'll have time to address the C I? CI hates involvement in the production of faulty instruments used in the construction of Chernobyl control rooms or GW Bush killing JFK. Um, I could address some of that stuff. We're going to do JFK, I'd, but I'm not on the I'm not on team GW Bush. I'm more on team Johnson for that. But GHW Bush has got plenty of skeletons. I even I even hinted to him a little bit tonight. And we'll we'll be bringing him back <laughs> a few more times. George HW Bush. Maybe one of the most evil men in history. Keith Blay for $20. Thank you for that, Keith. I really appreciate it. Kay's there for $499. Have you coupled Michelle de Nostradamus? If not, could you do in the future? I see what you did there. Love the channel. Yes, we covered Nostradamus. And see, there's a simulation at work again. No one mentioned Nostradamus the whole night. I mentioned it. And then three messages later, Michelle de Nostradamus. That's why Jenny and I believe in the simulation theory. I don't believe in it. Max Overhang for 1999. How about a show about Gary McKinnon and what he saw on NASA's computers? Yes, that's coming, Max. That's going to be part of the Solar Warden episode. So Gary McKinnon is a, a hacker from the UK who got into NASA. I think he hacked something like 50 computers over there and found all kinds of stuff, including what he says is proof that there is a secret pro, uh, space program. So we'll be covering that with Solar Warden. Curtis Murray, thank you for the 899. And look, Elizabeth Vanderbeer is back. A 
I'm a goldfish In a steel boat I swim I want it, want it I want it a tip I want it, want it I want it a tip Last call. Oh, it's the last call? All right, hang on. Let me let me see if I can find a ticket tank thing. Um I gotta get Hecklefish to like announce that or something. Oh, hang on. Couldn't get it. Joseph Cox for twenty dollars. Chiching, baby. OMG, it's the Y Files. I just want to tell Hecklefish that I'm fairly certain we are either about to get the inversion get to the inversion point or already crossed it on Twitter. Love the channel. Johnny Payne. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Joseph Cox. I don't I don't know if we reached inversion. I think I think Joe Cox is talking about the inversion with regarding AI and the bots. Kyle Martin, Albuquerque, ten dollars, maybe your best episode yet. But thanks, man. The fish knows. Uh Sakara, New Mexico, UFO landing, 1964, least contested UFO landing in 50 years. Um, I don't, I don't know that one off the top of my head, Kyle, but I want to look into that. The Holloman landing is my favorite for photos, the Holloman Air Force Base landing. Um, and that, we have some good images of that in the Project Serpo episode. Oh, you were looking for episodes to check out. If you haven't seen Project Serpo, that's another wild story, but it's a lot of fun. Josh Newar from 1999 will submit, but ever heard of the, uh, near death experience where you see two figures clocked in brown cloaked in brown and you can't see their faces yet you feel so much love and then they tell you it's not your time i haven't heard that one about being cloaked in brown josh but i have heard that seeing their face yet so much love that it's not their time in fact it happened to my dad uh, my dad went through over 40 surgeries and died on the table four times and during one of those times he saw his mother my grandmother and she told and he, he said mom i'm in so much pain and he said i know but it's not your time uh frank hammond thank you for the 50 dollars. here's another 50 please please keep this channel alive thank you frank that's how we're going to do it with support like yours the x-file very cool name for 20 dollars. thank you for the super sticker x-file Sean Hansen, this was by far the most disturbing episode to me so far. We ain't done yet. Thank you, AJ Lord Hecklefish, a strict but fair Lord, for being there for us. I hope that we had a good message for you at the end there, Sean. It's going to be okay. No tyranny on my watch. Hall Homestead for $10 quote from John Dewey. Someone remarked that the best way to unite all the nations on this globe would be an attack from some other planet. Yep, for sure. If you remember after 9-11, the, the United States is, is so polarized politically and just on just for everything else, Yankees, Red Sox. But after 9-11, at least for a short time, everybody really came together, you know, at least domestically. So, yeah, a disaster could do it again. Ezra Freeze back 499. I sold my soul to the devil. Now he's a hecklefish. Here's your cut. Um, that soul that you sold to the devil is either a fish or the bottom of your shoe. <laughs> Maybe he was, that was the joke. Cause it's a little spell. Also, uh, so was you also think, a fish. Is that what you think it is? Mrs. Y files. Very charitable. There she goes. Brother Mark, Lord Hecklefish. Thank you. He's a strict, but fair Lord. Ari Solis. Good to see you again. She loves Hecklefish. I saw uh, Ari with a nice comment. On one of Hecklefish's videos, maybe one of his songs. Anyway, I saw your comment, Ari. Very nice. Anthony, seriously? $5. Talk about Andrew Bitebart, who called out John Podesta. Nope. Nope. I think most of you know who Andrew Breitbart is and what happened to him, but uh, nope. Another one, you know, 40 years old, heart attack, fancy pants, MYC 43777, loves the content. Has anyone told you that you look like Josh Robert Thompson, the voice of Josh Peterson on the Craig Ferguson show? No, I don't know uh, who, I know who Craig Fer Ferguson is. I don't know any of those other people. Do you? Mm -mm. No, she's, 
She's doing some online shopping. She's not paying attention at the moment. Punch drink for $10. Love the objectivity in your videos. If you want a crazy UFO story, I do. Check out the Opera Cow or Prado where a bunch of people were attacked by UFOs in Brazil in 77. Yeah, Brazil with the great, great stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'd love to cover that. Oh, I love this one. Keep the ideas coming, human. Just send that on the tips line, which you can't read because the other thing is up there. Um, let's see if I can fix that. Hang on, hang on. Just give me a second. Hang on. Can't find it. Uh, Farrar Drums, $10. Please do an episode on the 1941 Cape Girardeau UFO crash. Cape is on the 37th parallel, which has lots of weird stuff across the world. Thanks a gazillion, billion, million. Keep up the great work. I don't know that one. Cape Girardeau, Missouri. I, don't, I haven't heard that one for our drums. But send that in the tips line. We'll look into that. Joe P. 999. Great show. Check out Michael Menken's thought screen ideas. They're hats lined with Velostat that block electrical signals to stop mind control. Merch idea. Hecklefish thought screen. Thought screen tinfoil hats. It's a great idea, Joe. We actually Gino's been looking for for tinfoil hats that we can that we could put out there. But we'll definitely look into the hats lined with Velostat that block that stop mind control because we need we need those. The Killer Weezer for ten dollars. Love your interesting and fair videos. Wish some of them you didn't debunk. Takes away some of the mystery and thrill. Are there any videos you wish you didn't debunk? I'm sorry, Killer Weezer, but I, I love mystery and thrill, but I love truth more than that. Um, videos that I wished I didn't debunked. No, I don't know. You know, there were, f you know, I don't like debunking any of them. Uh, every story that I cover is a story that I truly enjoy. Um, so I have to think about that. You know, next time we do after files, I'll just have a list of the episodes just up here so I can refer to them. Cause if I, if I could scan them, I can give you answers to these. Um, but if you if you if you watch the videos, you'll 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 see me disappointed at times. Like, oh man, I really wanted this to be real. Any everything time travel, I want to be real, but they never are. Syntax twenty six hundred could be an Atari joke. Nine ninety nine. I have a heck of a shirt, and my eight year old, as of now, not in my avatar. Is that a, is that a child in there? I thought I thought you had, someone was kidnapped. I thought that was you were kidnapping something. It was an abduction, but it's not. It's just a loving family. Love your channel and and love supporting all you do. Well, thanks, Syntax. I appreciate that. I hope you don't let the eight-year-old watch the show. I'm sure you do. I don't know. I wouldn't let kids watch this, but I, they seem to like it. There's Myth Randor, $5. Your dancing video made me sign up as a pat patron. It was absolutely epic. That was someone requested a longer version of the dance. So I, I made an hour-long version of it. We love the dance. They asked for three minutes. Oh. <laughs> Bit of an overachiever. Sapphire Soul Wellness, have you considered doing a video on all of these train derailments and explosions? I'd love to. But I love having a channel more. Drew Lane, 10 Australian. G'day from Australia. Totally binged on all the content. And congrats to you and the whole team on the success. Well, thanks, man. It's been it's been a it's been a rough ride at, at times, but we're getting there. There's Karen Johnston for ten dollars. Mass consciousness. So that's a huge topic. So underreported thus far. I agree. And there's definitely a good video in there. Mass consciousness. Great idea. Uh, there's Barry DeBravo two slash five six eighty eight staff for twenty dollars. What the hell? Oh, sorry, temporarily lost my mind. I was scared, but I enjoy your videos just the same. Thumbs up, pray and laughy face. Well, thanks, Barry. I appreciate that uh, super chat. There's Jonathan Burton for ten dollars. Boom goes the dynamite. I love Thank it. you, human. I love every episode. You and Hecklefish are the best YouTube show out there. Appreciate your hard work. Well, thanks. I don't know if we're the best, but I, I think we're in the top five. Rush Rider 13, thank you for the $20. <laughs> you guys didn't see it, but here's what I saw down there. I couldn't catch it in time. She's had a long day. Oh, yeah, well. 
cry me a river. Progress crazy, $5. Hey, as you love your show, I'm currently reading Chronicles of the Future, a book you suggested. I can't thank you enough for changing my perspective. I'm glad. Uh, most of the episodes, I will usually throw a book suggestion down there. If it has, if I refer to it in the show, it's down there unless I forget. Or if it's just something I think that would be fun for you to read, there's always stuff down there. Um, so uh, the des the descriptions of the videos are not just, it's not just junk for the algorithm. There's stuff down there that I think that you guys would find useful. A, a lot of the research goes down there, um, articles that I find that are fun, other videos. So if there's ever an episode that you watched that, you, that really grabbed you, take a look down there and it will start you down the rabbit hole. Um, Jeff G for five pounds. It's three 30 AM in the UK. Just got back from a bar. So glad to see your channel live on YouTube. Love everything and big love to hecklefish. Well, thanks man. And, uh, and look, you gotta love a, uh, an avatar with just the, just the fag hanging right out of the mouth. Right. Just love it. Yes, I know. He Rush Rider, $13, $5. Found you from uh, JRE, actually. Ended up binge, binge watching all the episodes over a short time frame. Well, we love a binger. The algorithm loves that. Keep up the great work, y'all rock. Well, thanks, Rush Rider, 13. And we, are we at 104 left? Is that what, I'm, what we're looking at? Because yep. I'm trying to amp up the speed. Well, you're at 102. 102? Darcy Stone, $5. Loves the channel. Curious, you might do a Mothman episode. Grew up on Long Island where we had a few sightings. Strong Island here as well, Darcy. Thank you for making awesome vids. Um, yeah, Mothman is on the short list. I think we may want to bite the bullet and just throw that on the production calendar. What do you think? Okay. Edward Peacock. <laughs> Peacock. How do you say it? Peacock. I, that's see. Can you do it, Victoria? Can you say his name? <laughs> I know it's Pocock Ed, but you know, you put, and he put that because last week we did the chicken sounds. We did. I know that's not how, how he pronounces his name. And I know that, Edward, it's just whenever there's an opportunity to say, Pocock, you got to take it. You know, see? But don't feel bad about destroying it last week uh, or this week. Apparently, uh, you should see my mail. Love the hecklefish. Well, I appreciate the support and thank you for having good attitude and humor about your name. You know that it comes from a place of love and respect and um, and all that other stuff. I'm supposed to say. Pacock Hotel Nerd Network five dollars. Glad you did Project Blue Beam. So I wasn't able to provide info that you asked me to get to you, but happy you ran away with the idea. I was I was really annoyed at you about that, but, uh, but we, we managed to squeak it out, but I appreciate that. We'll get you on the next one. Nicole Domagala is back for five Canadian. It's, it's price priest. Now, Mr. Pri Mr. Priest. Oh, it's priest now. So Domagala is the, the maiden name. Uh, it's priest. Now, Mr. Priest is watching with me. It's his birthday tomorrow and we're having a date night with a live stream. Well, you know what date night with the live stream means? Ooh. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Naughty's Mr. there for the priests. So okay. how this works is, is Nicole, as you put the batteries go on the bottom. Stop. <laughs> Mr. Priest knows what, knows what I'm talking about. Uh, Joe McCauley for 10 pounds. Since you took your well-earned vacation last week, I watched a few videos. The few videos I missed on some occasions. The simulation theory has genuinely, con genuinely convinced me the back in time particle piece is insane. It's absolutely right. Um, oh, I'd like to re quickly recap it. That's a hard one to do. Um, and so I can't, it, it, you can't recap the double slit experiment after you've called last call. But if you haven't seen the episode, particles of electrons are measured and they go back in time. If you saw the episode, you know what I'm talking about. If not, go watch that one. The electrons confirmed not maybe they can they went back in time and changed their state adam the great five dollars got some good news my sister's moving down to medford oregon where i'm at after 32 i thought he was going to say good news that she's moving 
to Medford, Oregon, where I'm I'm not there anymore. She get her out of there. But no, she's moving down there. Thirty two years. Let's not take family for granted. Amen. They're there with you at the beginning, and they're there with you at the end. Um, Denver Good Faith Guide, $15. The re-released version of Cooper's book is missing chapter 15. Of course, it is Protocols of the Elders of Zion. The only complete book was his 1991 release. Full PDF version can, can be found on Archive, Love and Light. That's good information if you guys are going to check out the uh, William Cooper's book, which you should definitely check out. And look, find it online for free. You don't have to buy it. And all you have to do is read two pages. Just read two pages, and then you will be sucked into it. And Mind blowing and terrifying. John McLeod, thank you for the ten dollars. Yes, I can finally upgrade my vodka to Belvedere. No more swimming in the cheap stuff. Swimming in the cheap stuff. There's Todd riding with a very generous forty nine ninety nine, keeping the channel going. Thanks a lot, Todd. I appreciate the support. There's Jen four ninety nine. We need a fisting crab cat mug and bumper stickers. More pet merch, please. Um, a hecklefish plushie, too. Hi, Gino, Vicky, Lord Hecklefish, and me. Nothing for Jen. Oh, no, Jen's in there. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Somebody just said to stop pecocking because her cat keeps smacking at the screen. <laughs> Pecock! Go ahead. Yeah, you have to do it. Pecock! Gino. You can do it. He's not going to do it. Pecock. Sid thinks we're all super cute. No, I don't understand any of this. Maybe someone can punch me in the face and see if that helps. Someone go ahead and punch him in the face. See if it helps. Ricky Slade, 111. Good to see you, my friend. 999. I sent it into the tip line as well, but the vagina UFO crash. What is that? Ah. Virginia UFO crash would make for such a good episode. Moment of contact is a documentary on it. They'll blow you away. I'll look for that, Ricky. I'll look for that uh, vagina UFO crash. HRN, $10. Haven't watched it yet. I'm just stopping in to say how much I love the content, how thankful I am for what you do. Well, you're very welcome, HRN. Thank you for the support. It's very helpful. Kick, kick, kid is back for $20. Has a crush on hecklefish. Biggity bingo, human. Uh, Greg Park, thank you for the $50. Best to you, brother, and to you as well from Greg and Daria. Hi, Daria. Thank you, human. Maybe now we can get some indoor plumbing for this bowl. Ugh, it smells like a dumpster full of used baby diapers in here. Uh, there's the big Kazan for $100. I'm a fish and I'm a star, so put more dough in my jar. The type of vodka that I need is Belvedere. Uh, great job so far, even in the early vids. Uh, there's, some, there's some pretty rough ones there, Big Kazan. Excellent way to get a strong summary in one place. I believe we would really benefit from your take on Bob Lazar, uh, David Ick, and other secret societies, 9-11, set the material, et cetera. Keep up the good work, and thank you. You're very welcome. I could do most of those on the list, but not all of them. Secret societies is, is um, one I definitely want to do. But thanks for the nice words, Big K. Paul is there for $10. Have you heard about the YouTuber Friendly Geordies? He exposed some government corruption in Australia, and his house was firebombed. Twice, so be safe. I did not hear about that. I will. I want to check that out and see what he was talking about. But keep an eye on that. But uh, but me and Mrs. Wifehouse live behind walls. Albert Howard, you went over ten thousand on the other channel. It was ten point one when I subbed. <laughs> Look at that. Backstage went over ten thousand. Thanks, guys. That's amazing. That's amazing. So I have to. Post a little bit more over there, but I think you'll like the last one with the uh, the gold play button was a fun video. Uh, oh, I cried in that video. You did. I cry. Mm -hmm. Why you cry? Why you cry? Jake, sixty six ten dollars. Love this channel. Scares the heck out of me, and then the logic pulls me back to reality. Well, I'm glad, Jake. But 
it's not all jam. There's some, there's plenty of bad news on the channel, but I try to keep it. I don't want to see if I'm doing a really dark, dark, dark episode. I at least try to brighten it up a little bit toward the end. I was worried this week's was getting, cause it was kind of a long episode and I was worried it was just going way too dark to finally get to the uplifting message, which was basically, <laughs> if you come after our family, we're going to, we're going to rise up and, you know, with our guns. But, um, but I try to end up an up note if I can, especially when it's dark. There's Andrew LeJoy, LeJoy, $5, Russian media, third week of January, said their military down to UFO, food for thought. It would seem to be the only thing that military can shoot down. Tom won for $9.99. Thank you for the support. Paul's back for $10. Have you considered nicotine patches to get through the live stream? Might not be as enjoyable as the gum, but better than withdrawals. I don't have withdrawals, Paul. I'm fine. Um, the, the nicotine, the drug is fun, but it's also the chewing is fun. Because Jen and I have had the nicotine lozenges, but it's just not, it, it doesn't even feel the same. No. Is, that's Victoria's lozenge face. That's her lozenge face. <laughs> oh, she's tired, huh? Look how tired she is. Stop is she that. She's so tired. She's tired. Don't stop that. You she stop it. Lovely. I think she's radiant, she but is. exhausted. Well, exhausted. Exhausted. Right? Juan for twenty dollars says. So who keeps clicking that one away? You haven't read this one yet. You skipped it. <laughs> Keith for $10. Me and my wife, Tasha, watching again. So happy to have this new Thursday tradition. Shout out for my lovely wife, please. Love and kindness to all. It's at like Ike Lee. Ike Lee. Uh, Keith Ike Lee. And there's Tasha. Hello, Tasha. Tasha, ask Keith about Mr. Naughty. Juan, uh, oh no, I can't read that one. Sorry, Juan. No. Jefferson Triplett, my wife passed away on September 50th. I'm sorry to hear that, man. I found your show three days later, still in shock, but it helped me from crying and made me laugh, man. Very, very nice of you to say, and sorry to hear that. I hope that the channel could help a little bit with the goofy, goofy stuff that we do. Tom won four ninety nine. I need a I need a AJ with Bob Ross haircut, twenty ounce coffee mug. Oh, that's a that that would be a good one. I just don't want my face on there. Too bad it's on. Can we list. do Hecklefish's face? No, but we could do a cartoon of it if somebody wants to draw that. There's Chell Chell Lee showing some support. Thank you for the ten dollars, uh, Chell Lee. We appreciate that. <laughs> There you go. Guppy needs a new pair of shoes. Got to take care of those guppies. Edward Meyer Mira for $10. Are there any mysterious stories about White Sands, New Mexico? New Mexico? A lot. A lot about White Sands. The um, That's the landing field out in New Mexico where sometimes the shuttles would go if, if the weather wasn't great. Um, maybe I could do something on, on that, Edward. There's some good ones. Uh, there's Sarah Chambers. She's there for $5. Ruben Rodriguez checking in, $20 big fan, first time director. Want to share my first film with your audience. My film, The Death of April, is a documentary about ghosts. Film is streaming on Tubi. Keep up the great work. Everyone go check out The Death of April on Tubi. Do you have Ooh. to pay for Tubi? I don't know, but I have to go check that. You know how I love a, a, a good scary movie. She loves a scary movie. She's going to check that out, Ruben Rodriguez. Um, uh, you can send, you can send us a screener. We'll check it out. Pat McKee for $20. You do know that this is all spelled out in revelations in the Bible, as well as Daniel and other books of the Bible. The Bible spells out a great deception after the rapture. Non-believers won't know it's happened, but that's, that's true. And that's certainly a way to look at it. But, uh, but there is something that everybody, I mean, that's, that's your religion and that's what you believe. And I think that's great, but there's something that everybody should fear. And that's Fear the Crab Cat. Fear the Crab Cat. Jonathan M. for $20, Fearing the Crab Cat, um, which is the same saying that's on that mug that you can get at shop.thewildfiles.com. Less than 10 bucks. 
support your favorite YouTube channel or this one. Eric Bishop, 1999, another tip in the jar. Get you the fancy dish at Applebee's. What's Jen's ice cream order? Can't wait for the JFK Super Show. That's going to be an awesome one, as well as the After Files. Should we ask Jen about her ice cream? Nah. Um, all right, but we have to, uh, do we have to get Applebee's cracking? What do we <laughs> oh, that's rude. Um. Well, maybe uh, when we have to place our order, maybe we'll we'll throw throw her up to discuss her her desserts. Kells the ghost, twenty Canadian, oh, laughing emoji. What do we got? Was wondering where you were last week. Glad you didn't get grabbed up or went nanners, and ended up jacking it in San Diego. Ha ha. Keep up the good work. Please care. Sorry for the Canadian rubles, but times are tough. Who put up this one about me jacking it? It's rude. I think they meant the like who put jacket. that up there. The one covered Victoria? Up, put it up there. That one? I don't know. <laughs> Kells the ghost. I was jacking it, all right? Balloon Alien, $20 Project Blue Beam is bad, but the truly insidious plot is Project Blue Balls. Horrifying. Who put these up? <laughs> what? We're finishing the, the live stream with uh, just all the dick jokes and testicles and balls and dicks. I think I got tired and stopped reading. <laughs> she got tired and just stopped reading. She's like, she oh, super chat, like super chat. Yep. <laughs> MB Shellnut 999, we had Prodigy in the early 90s. All I knew how to do was order car catalogs and BMG CDs. I'm sorry, man. My mom hated the internet. Keep up the quality work. Yeah, I remember Prodigy. You know, Pro Prodigy's old school. It's, you know, not that old, but it's old school. TV, $10. My son Connor and I never miss an episode. It's become a new father-son tradition. Huge fan, love Hecklefish. Well, that's awesome. Hey, Connor. It's cracking, playa. I don't know if that's how you talk to him, but I thought it'd be... I don't know how old he is, but Connor's cracking player. I, I'm, I'm, I'm there. I just, just Kelly's here, and I wanted to make sure Kelly. What the fish needs now? A tips, sweet tips. They're the only thing. To bring a smile to my little lips. Oh. <laughs> I love that. R. Rogers, the Wi Files can't be deep state. It's too creative for that. Well, thank you, R. Rogers. That's nice of you to say. Hans Holm, $10. Research the late Doug Coe. Maybe his good friend, the late former Senator Harold E. Hughes. It's a rabbit hole that I'm sure you are unaware of, as most people are. Yeah, I am unaware of that, Hans. But um, send that in tips line. I'd like to check that out. Mike Thomas, $5. I try to see if there are any changes on the poster board behind you each episode, wondering what your favorite item is and if there's a story on it. Um, yeah, the board changes every week. Changes a little week. There's a lot of fun stuff on there. There's Art Bell is on there is one of my favorites. Uh, there's a picture of uh, uh, our buddy Pat. Gino and I grew up with Pat. He's there with the Dalai Lama. A couple of pictures of Gino with Rogan. There's a my favorite picture might be Jen getting her teeth with the thing in her mouth. You know that picture? <laughs> yeah, I was getting my teeth whitened, and so I had the the thing. There's a game. Should I go get can... it? Yeah, sure. Why not? There's a game where you can put one of those things in your mouth, and then you have to try to read something, and people have to try to guess what it is that you're saying. It's very funny. I'm going to buy that for us. <laughs> That's great. I love the eyes. <laughs> well, look, I mean, Jen has very, very supple, flexible lips. Cavendish for $9.99. Aren't all UFOs fake? Probably because of Doty. No need for covert mind control. Overt methods work too well. Information is the new battleground. People brainwash themselves with blind faith. A lot of good points in there, Cavendish. And yeah, Doty really screwed things up. He really screwed things up and made it so we don't know what's true and what's not. And that might be the whole point. And he's still out there doing interviews. He was there just a couple of days ago. 
on, on Twitter doing another interview saying everything's true. Nader Navid, Navid, $5 found the show a few months ago and watch it every week with my dad now. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, dad. Hey, Papa Navid. What? Susan Burns, don't want to appear ignorant, but viewers, was this fella in a boy band or a TV show? I know I'm elderly, but he's awfully familiar. Hmm. <laughs> I had to put that one up. How oh, dare oh, both man. of you? <laughs> oh, that's just me. Stuff. That's just me. Oh, that was a good time for you. It was a good time. <laughs> yeah, that was a good time for the for the for the ladies. Nicholas H for five dollars. Wondering if you're going to go after stabilization theory. Tip that humans are probably hybrids based on the gene count and remix compared to chimps. Hang on, I'm, I'm mentally putting in correct punctuation. Stabilization theory. Uh, I'm interested in that one. I know what you're talking about. I'm wondering, I don't, I think that's a context warning on YouTube. But Nicholas, I know, hang on, what is, is that Beaker? Can anyone? <laughs> Great profile picture. That, or, that looks like the thing Victoria waves around when she's born. <laughs> Doesn't it? Where is that? There it is. There it is. No, no, no. Jenny, I, I can't hear you. It's a flower. Juan Kameni, $10. Love the show. Will you ever do the definitive video on the Mothman, please? Yeah, we're, we've got it on the list. It's on the list one. Um, who, who's that in his avatar? Is that a superhero? What is he? Some kind yeah. of masked Avenger? I think it's old school Batman. Old school Batman. <laughs> like TV show <laughs> Batman. Like Adam West Batman. Uh, Adam West, the best Batman. Keller Ghost is back for ten dollars. Real story. Blue Book is that it's not our government; it's the priest class of Agartha that planned it. Goblins, you bet. I promise the video we send you will be music, epic rock and roll. That's I just love reading that message. It's just bouncy, it's fun, a little wacky. She agrees. Lane for twenty dollars. Um, where did? Hey yo, making it rain over here. Where else did I hear before about the sequence of big fictional threats, first communists, then terrorists, then pandemic, then aliens, to condition the worldwide fear conditioning? Yeah, could be. Seems like a lot of that's happening. Edwin Legate, Lega I'm sorry, Edwin. It's something with an L, $10. I was in the middle of the Japanese earthquake. Oh, that's terrifying. Wow, that's terrifying. Um. But, you know, it, but we don't have to one-up each other, right? No. I was in Trump Tower. He was in Japanese earthquakes. I thought, the last one, I thought the last one we had at our house in California was going to be the big one. That was a crazy one. That was a crazy okay. one. And uh, that was, I was downstairs in my office working. Jen was upstairs in the living room working on a crossword puzzle. She's working on a crossword puzzle. and. I learned this later because we had nest cameras all around the house and I just wanted to see what the house looked like for the earthquake. <laughs> and so she's there in the living room doing the crossword puzzle and the whole house just starts shaking. So she goes like this and it's shaking and it's shaking. It stops and she goes and goes right back to the puzzle. <laughs> just no fear. Uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? All right, what are you going to do? I am the bub for $5, Lord Hecklefish, the leader of the cryptids. Tell him to hurry up with the thigh, with the cloning. Ruben Abreu, for, thank you for the $20, Ruben. Thank you for that tip. Now I can finally join C Harmony and meet the future ex Mrs. Moriarty. <laughs> future ex Mrs. Moriarty. Zadwit, $10. In the video, you stated that the governments will never be able to end our faith or religion, but. Doesn't it seem to you through social media we are doing that to ourselves anyways? Yes, we certainly are. Uh, Giant Cardinals, $10. Love the channel. My, um, my finance and I are huge fans. Are you accepting any resumes for any positions or internships at the channel? My skills include great with people and even better with fish. 
Well, he likes that. I don't know if you if you've studied fish fish massage, that could be interesting. But otherwise, go to the yfiles.com and there's a jobs page at the top and uh, and see if there's something there that fits. Web thirty four. Thank you for the ten dollars. Speaking of soldiers, oh no, Mike, that far behind, huh? Uh, them not speaking out against the moral orders was literally the point of the Nuremberg trials. No, folks not speaking out about the immoral plots would be just as guilty. I think so. I certainly think so. Alvin A. Blom Jr. 499, the Hecklefish Nation demands a plushie of our great scaled leader. Yes. I think we're going to come up with a solution to that, right? We have a cool idea that we're going to be announcing soon. Um, but you're not going to be announcing it now. No. I guess I guess I, I got to get my order in, huh? Yeah. Your Applebee's order? I'm going to have to get that in. Sacred Sacred Clown TV. My father was part of that team, guys. I don't have money to super chat, but I have photographic evidence. Oh, this guy was responding to the other guy that was in the military that said he was part of the team that got rid of the weapons in Iraq. All right, Sacred Clown. Email it over. Yep. But meanwhile, there's Applebee's. Applebee's. Clear adventure for five dollars. Did you hear about the far the Farmington Armada, the biggest UFO sighting in UFO in US history? I have info being from Farmington. I would like to share. Please do clear adventure and look at the size of that dog. Look at that. Look at his head. Look at the head on that beast. And the dog. <laughs> Uh, send that over clear adventure. I want to see that, uh, Andrew with a K $10 Canadian. The truth is stranger than anyone could ever guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Matt's music and adventures new sub here. Welcome to the funny farm. Great channel. Keep up the fantastic work. Thumbs up and pipe check Mark pipe. Oh, both, both of the, my producers just dropped off at once. Now you're the only one. You're the only producer left. And that's, that ain't going to work. That ain't going to be enough. That's it. I, now, we're, now we're in trouble. We're adrift. We're lost at sea. Musanon, $10. Something larger than a single video. The way social media has shaped society. Not in a good way, Moose. You know, it's it's definitely... I, the Social media helps us keep tyranny at bay because we can communicate. But it's really, really so destructive to society as a whole. DJ, $50, you actually made your wife leave a good job over these shenanigans. <laughs> uh, this is, I love this. This is super fun. AJ and I have worked together for a very long time and this is better. He went away, so I guess this I will is better. Some. This is better. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, George Enriquez, Jorge Enriquez for four ninety nine. I love how you're a freedom fighter, but on your show, you're a dictator. LMAO, by the way, dance monkey dance. I hope you remember this context. Ha ha. Do you remember that context? Uh, I don't know what he's talking about. All right. Um, uh, Doge Wow for seventeen oh eight. Is this a message, AJ? This was back when you were talking about when people don't send like full even dollar amounts. So now they're sending you a message. I want We need to decode the message though. <laughs> send send a <the> clue. <laughs> Will you do a video on the correlation between psychedelic and religion? That's from Mitchell Mowry for ten dollars. That's an interesting one. That's been in the news a lot lately. It's also sort of been in the news about how that's like the missing link. That that's where the jump came and why we're missing like a portion. That's what caused humans to jump. You know, uh, ha current Homo sapiens to jump from when we were Neanderthals to becoming a much more uh, intelligent, larger brain sentient species was uh, from psychedelics. So that's an interesting topic. I don't know if 
we're going to do that on this channel or not, but that might be something interesting on the when files about history. Uh, Tom won for forty nine ninety nine. He upped his his super chat because he didn't know we were so far behind. You need to add an AJ Bob Ross hair twenty ounce co coffee mug to your merchandise. For people that don't know what they're talking about, AJ did a video on ASMR and talking about Bob Ross and how people love his videos because it's very soothing and there's a lot of ASMR. And the thumbnail for that is AJ in a Bob Ross like Afro wig and it's fantastic. So just go look back through the old videos and take a peek at those. And he disappeared. AJ's just gone. Um, see, he's just gone. Oh, there he is. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. So what, what did I miss? Well, Nate Wise for 1999. You gonna read oh. out his? Hang on. I, hey, we have <laughs> All right. Nate Wise for 1999. That is one big cat. Missing any hecklefish's guppies? Uh, no, we keep him. Hecklefish stays at the studio. He has a very specific oh. rider in his contract about his uh, lodgings, and it states that he can't be near the cats. There's one older video where uh, the big cat was trying to stick his paw in Hecklefish's bowl, and that did not go over well. So now he has to have his own separate accommodations. Uh, Gettysburg Ghost Stories. Gino, do you know anything about that? Uh, no, I was just wondering uh, what the ghost stories would be if, it, uh, if it's uh, mostly uh, the north or the south or, or both, or if they're just having a, a you know, a, a battle still. <laughs> You know, that'd I be mean, crazy. Obviously, that's what it must be. They must be battling. What else would be be there? Just them just hanging out going, we were soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> so they must be battling. That would be interesting. I'd like to see that. Hi, Victoria. Hello. So let's see. CMD Commander Bishop for $15. I think Ghost Story would be great. But did you know that some people think that ghosts are just ripples in time from the past and the future. Me, I think I just need more pizza. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> that's the, that's some, that's one of the theories, right? That it's just people kind of crossing in alternate realities. Mm -hmm. And so you're seeing just like, you know, visions of the people just kind of passing in and out. And so they don't look like corporeal beings. It's just, you're just seeing their, their shadows and all of that. Uh, it's interesting topic, but what do you think, Victoria? Ghosts, no ghosts. Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> I think that look, I'm not going to say I believe in ghosts, but I don't play with Ouija boards. So right. there's that. I also think it's very interesting. You know, they say that the reason kids see it is because their minds haven't been told yet that they're not supposed to see those things. So they're, they're much more open to seeing supernatural things than adults. <laughs> for ten dollars astral projection definitely deep rabbit hole and very dangerous depending on your religious beliefs mike trust me that would be a banger video but you'd have to do hella research and experimentation i don't know who mike is but um maybe he's a ghost that works for the channel that we just don't see because we don't believe in him just be, be banger. Hang on a second. Oh, go ahead. Do my hella research. Is that what he wants me to do? Oh, okay. that's a good suggestion. Oh, well, I know a lot about astral projection. Be a good one. All right. Next one. Are you going to read it? Dark Stormy, $10 Australian. Love your content. Any chance on doing a story on the Australian Min Min Lights? Send that in the tips line. We'll definitely check that out. Um, Jan, the artist, this is my first live. You guys are so silly. I love it. <laughs> 
I thought she was going to say we're so professional. <laughs> they said that last time. <laughs> oh, that was that was last time. John Beasley, ten dollars. Thank you for the super sticker. Devin Williams, Devon Williams, Devin Williams, four ninety nine. Your wife has that door open. I keep thinking I'm going to see a black eyed child peeking in. Can we get that episode? By the way, LOL. Do we? You have the lock. You have the lock, right? So yes. look, if if two kids, brother and sister, about ten years old, knock on the door and their eyes are just filled with black, don't let them in, will you? I'm asking you. No, I don't let them in. Don't let them in. No, I don't let anybody in. All right. The Seth, the Seth, the Seth, see, thanks, Victoria. How do you say that word? This, you did great. <laughs> Please do an episode on Hermes and Victoria. How do you say the next word? Tears <laughs> me, Megastra. <laughs> Very interesting story indeed. The Thoth connection. We have, uh, we have some, some Thoth lore coming up for you. MC for 2112. It was a great rush out, wasn't it? whoop de doo Thank you for that juicy tip, human. 2112? No, nothing from you kids. You guys don't even know who Rush is. Hunting Rocks, one, two, three, four. Should talk about how crystals would make a great renewable energy source. Also, shameless call out to my channel, Hunting Rocks. Nearly as cool as the Wi Files. Everyone should go check out Hunting Rocks right now. He's creating renewable energy with crystals. Soar of many worlds, one economy at uh, 1377 spells elite. Can we get a video on Klaus Schwab and who's pulling his strongs? Who's pulling your strongs, Sora? <laughs> Ken, after $10, shout out to a certain Canadian named Cowboy who Ooh. introduced me to your channel. Love your channel, bud. Hecklefish 2024. And you can get that merch over on the yfiles.com <laughs> slash shop. Hecklefish for president mug. Don't you slow blanket. <clears throat> Julie Alsop for 10 Australian. Looking forward to a future episode on ghost investigations. Have you considered a collaboration with a YouTube ghost hunting show? I, I'm still looking for the ghost hunting show um, where they found ghosts. And if I could find that one, I'll definitely collab with them. So if anyone knows a ghost hunting investigation channel that actually found ghosts, let me know. Jen, you know of one? Um, Pictures and no. video? No. I haven't found no. one. I haven't come across any with ghost evidence yet. There's some good yeah. TikTok. Oh. Check TikTok. <laughs> TikTok is where all the good shows are. <laughs> MC2112, a great Rush album. AJ, my brother from another mother. Love the Ching, I appreciate the tip, human. Time to hit the tables, baby. Uh, AJ Alex Jones. Um, no, I'm not like Alex Jones. I tell no. the truth. Hitting pretty close to reality for YouTube. Keep it up. Regards to Heckle Wife. Uh, no. <laughs> He's not talking about you. You're Mrs. Wife House. Uh, cargo on, cargo conversion, building camp. I love when the when the username is, is a full commercial for the business. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's better than, you know, some of the other names are just... Like ZXXH44XX emoji. So, cargo on. If you're looking for cargo conversions for building and camping, there's your guy. I love the Wi Files. Just found your live. It's great. We are senior YouTubers and love your channel, LMFAO. Everyone go check out Cargo On. She can, I can't. Jay's 999. Oh, yeah, baby, slip that in my G string. Love your content, and so does my mother. LOL, she has an addiction. I think she watched almost every one of your videos. Also, who do you think wrote the letters in the Circleville letters? Oh, the Circleville letter takes me. I think it was Mary. I think it was the neighbor Mary, if I recall. But I have I to go back. Was, I think it was the wife that was getting the letters. Because how did she know not to, or whoever it was that pulled the sign down and didn't get shot? Like that was crazy. That was crazy. Is this making sense to anyone? <laughs> Adam Whiteside uh, thinks I'm Rob Lowe, and that's his conspiracy. I don't know what I'm talking about. Sam Moss, sixteen seventy-seven. Hey, Hecklefish, say my name and say my name backwards if you dare. Skipple skim. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Do you know no skipple skim? 
Absolutely. You're supposed to dis <laughs> disappear right now. <laughs> <laughs> skipple, skip. Gary, P. you got to be old school uh, comic book fan to know that one. Gary, P. like Jen does. The ladies don't know Skipple Skim, do they? I don't know it. I'm not admitting Gary it. Gary, <laughs> PF, 1990. But there's at least five people in the chat are like, yes! <laughs> it's Mixelplick. Uh, I had a software de deployment tonight. So I'm late to the premiere and after show. Great episode. Thanks, AGNT. Well, you're very welcome, Gary. I hope the uh, deployment went okay. No bugs, no bugs. Michael Brown, $10. We appreciated the So I Married an Axe Murder reference. Now I will not cry myself to sleep on my huge pillow. Pillow. Eat. Pants. <laughs> no. <laughs> Josh Sabo, $49.99. I know you've covered cattle mutilation before briefly, but I'd love to have you do a deep dive into it. Hmm. <laughs> we have to That's find messy. the angle. We have to find the angle on that. Um, but we covered it. We covered a pretty ex a whole chapter or two in the Phil Schneider episode, the Dulce Base episode. Um, Jesus back for 1999. I was named after Zeus. The J is hail. Notice how in Spanish it sounds the same as, and in English it sounds Latin. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, that's the emojis I'm doing. Hmm. Hmm, but some people will believe anything, and that's okay. Daniel, have you done Spanish ship lost in the desert? Is it worth another look? I keep going back to that one, Daniel, because I love that story. I just can't find an I can't find enough of it to make it a full episode. Uh, maybe it'll be a good when files, Jenny, because the history. Yeah, and it's about the, it's about a lost in the middle of the Mojave desert is a Spanish galleon and uh, no one knows how it got there, but we on the Y files, we do know how it got there. I have the answer. I just haven't had a chance to get it together for you. Jojo grow is back for 1420. <laughs> Look with a big sticky bud in the avatar. I said, <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. Is anyone looking at the picture of this human? Well, yeah, it's getting, it's getting toward the end of the night. Uh, yeah, just found you your channel Thursday. last week. <laughs> Just found your channel last week and it quickly become a favorite channel. All hail Hecklefish. What she's gone. It's like the it's like the end of Survivor. Right? She didn't make it. Now we'll get through the next couple and we'll see who's next to go. Oh. <laughs> I made it. Nope. Uh John Stevenson. Applebee's, the three seafood dishes are fish, salmon, and shrimp. Just so you know for sure, you'll get the next local foodborne illness. Yeah, I I worked at Applebee's when I was a youngster. I I, I don't get seafood from there. And um, look, I I don't. I almost said something that was like, you know, your lawyer wouldn't want you to say any more. <laughs> and I said, you're probably right, lawyer. Uh, tech grub for forty one dollars. <laughs> Thank you for that tip. Now I can finally join C Harmony and meet the future ex Mrs. Moriarty. It's me and Johnny B. Good's birthday, both 41. Yay! All right, well, Victoria's birthday. gonna Victor, Victoria's gonna <laughs> no, I am not. Get this thing off. Oh, Jesus. I don't know what I'm doing. Get it off. Happy birthday, Johnny. Stop. <laughs> yeah, I will not forget you for this. Stop. <laughs> that is so mean. Both Tech Grub and Johnny Be Good are part of the Discord, big parts of it. Happy birthday to both those guys. Yeah. Jordan Nelson, $10 Canadian, checking in on Victoria's live stream tonight. We'll submit to tip line if you have not done this topic yet. Uncanny Valley effect theory is this instinct evolved in humans due to orgasms or entity that closely mimic human brains in ancient times. Organisms. What I say. <laughs> not organisms. <laughs> Don't do that to me. I hate you. Um, great, uh, Jordan. We we actually covered Uncanny Valley. I think you'll like it. It's 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 back there in the archives. Um, Robert Nieto, forty nine ninety nine. Whoa! Yo, thank you for the tip. I'm saving up to build a bunker to protect me from the lizard people. They're coming to get you. Hey guys, love the show. Binge episodes frequently. First time watching live stream. Learning more about your team. Clearly, Wifey keeps you organized. 
Hey. Uh, Victoria runs Discord, but what does Chino do? <laughs> <laughs> I play poker. <laughs> Low blow, Robert. Chino <laughs> does a lot of research and topic. Brian <laughs> Davis for Uka Chaka Uka 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 Chaka Uka Uka. I can't stop this feeling deep inside of me. Chaka Uka Uka. You mean you just don't realize what your tips do to me? When you tip me, I can pay my bills and you make me. Tingle in my gills. Oh, your tips are amazing. Uh, Brian Davis just wants to support. The, am I back on? Yeah. Support the uh, favorite YouTube channel and say how much he appreciates independent creators. Well, thanks, Brian. And I would I say it to everybody um, whenever I can. Supporting the Wi Files is great, and we couldn't do this without you. But if you have the money to give to the Wi Files, then anyone you watch on YouTube, throw them a couple of bucks. Support independent creators is really important. Really, really important. So I appreciate that, Brian. Giant Cardinals for $10. Loves the channel. Uh, there we go. Love the channel. I was curious if you were accepting resumes for any job positions or internships for the channel. Some of my skills include great with fish, full chest of hair, great at ordering Applebee's. Well, sounds like you're you're the you're our man. All the things I'm not. Hire. <laughs> <laughs> Mualama. Mu, Mu, Victoria, can you pronounce that for us? Mualama Alien. <laughs> Mualama Alien. I uh, love your show. I always watch it while I'm working from home. Any favorite books, fictional or non-fictional, about alien life? Um, first one I would, I, I always go back to Zechariah Sitchin's. Um, Whenever, whenever, if if you're starting fresh, that's that's a good one to play around with. Anunnaki, Tanaru nine 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 just found your channel a month ago. I've devoured every video you've made. Keep up the good work and do a video on Planet Nibiru. Long live Hecklefish. You see about the simulation? We didn't mention Zechariah Sitchin's at all. And now the very next comment is Planet Nibiru, which he's written about extensively. That's why Jen and I believe we're in the simulation. Right, Jenny? No. Proof right here. I don't believe in the simulation. <laughs> well, she doesn't know anything. Happy Av Frauds LLC 4999. Unrelated question mark. Because I haven't seen latest yet, but do you mix and master and produce? I'm going to full sale and I love your show. Easy to watch. Learning is bonus. Yes, concur with Frank. What the hell is he talking about? <laughs> So he is starting his own channel, Happy Av Productions. <laughs> Happy Avenue Productions, LLC. So he's wondering if you do everything behind the scenes in your show because he's starting his and he's <laughs> learning. I don't know what concurring with Frank is. That was an old comment from a long time ago, I'm sure. Well, he's probably right. Frank is Frank knows what he's talking about. He does. Frank's Frank's a good one. Oh uh, yeah, Happy Ad Productions LLC. I, I I do a lot of stuff here. Too much, but not all of it, right? On the production side of things, like the actual production side, you do all of it. You do, all, do all of it. the filming, editing, all of that. So yes. Chris Lamar, 1999, and and he's starting his own channel? Yeah. I'm guessing. Yeah. I'm going go to full sale. Full sale? Oh, going to full sale. Love your show. Well, that's why you guys are here. Uh, Chris <laughs> Lamar, Lemire, 1999, thank you for sharing your curiosity with us. Love your shows. You're very welcome. And uh, <laughs> I, could, I see what's coming. Reggie Axoy. Uh, and everyone, you got, you got to look at the profile right now. Look at look at this guy. This guy, he knows something you don't know, and it has something to do with the ladies. <laughs> look at the face. Look at that. Hey, bro, what do you think is going on up at the North Pole? As you know, there are several conspiracies related to the poles. Love the channel, bro. Keep up the great work. Um, there's a lot going on the, at the North Pole. I'm concerned about the magnetic 
uh, drift that's happening up there. But I think the pole where all the weird stuff is happening is the South Pole, the uh, Antarctica. That's where I would look. Not an arm. <laughs> <laughs> can't resist. Not an arm. Um, and I think that's going to do it. That's our show. Thanks for everyone for hanging out. Three hours, 24 One minutes. One more giveaway. Sorry. No, it's it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> let's, get one, let's get one more giveaway cracking. Nod narb. Nod narb is your word. Nod narb. Nod narb. Uh, Vero 52,000's got it. Gianna sees in love with Hecklefish. Better watch out. He's a heartbreaker. Job says, let's go lot. nod narb. Uh, Steven, the Montauk Project. Dave Hahn, Nuclear Boy Scout. We've got uh, some Montauk Project stuff on here. Look out for... Um, I can't think of the name of the episode, but we have it. Nod narb, nod narb. Everyone's got it spelled right this way. A nod narb, nod narb. Uh, Paul Katz says lizard people. <laughs> that's not going to work, but that's cool. Um, nod narb, nod narb, nod narb. All right, everyone's got it. Shogun Orta says missed my super chat. I must have Shogun Orta. Well, and I'm we sorry for that. Last call an hour oh, ago. We call, oh, we called last call. Is that what happened? That's what happened. So if we didn't get to you guys, it, once we call last call, I just have him finish what oh. is going on in the super chats. So sorry about that, guys. It We, we were very, well, very busy. Just, yeah, just scrolling through to see if there's any that I just throw on the screen while we're collecting some entries. And if you win, you hop on Discord and uh, send a message to Victoria. She'll get you set up with some free stuff and look if you don't win but you'd still like some stuff from the wi -Files store you go to shop at the wi -Files .com and you can get your own um we got mugs and t-shirts it's hecklefish for president fear the crab cat mr naughty's not available yet but that's coming soon so guys if we missed you big apologies on our end if we missed you before we called last call it it there's just you know, there's 8,000 people in the chat, so sometimes stuff gets missed, and I apologize for that. It's all that's all Jenny's fault. So it's all my fault. You so can go I, ahead, just roast her in the comments. <laughs> just go, go ahead, ahead and do that. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, we ready to choose? Let's choose. Uh, Mama James, Titus Walker, Itch, Josie, Daniel, Montano, Billy, Work Finder, Jimmy Lega, Cubill TV, Gianna C, John Beard, Centris Orca, Julie, Alsop, Alsop. Um, and nice of her to win because she was very generous with her donation tonight. Julie. She absolutely was. Thank you. So Julie's going to hop on Discord. Yes. Put in a ticket, a help desk ticket, and I'll get with you right away. <laughs> And if well, we miss the super Steph. chat tonight, uh, come on Discord and yell at me. I'll, I'll listen to you. He talks right. a lot on there. They were complaining they <laughs> don't talk here enough. Yeah, somebody <laughs> asked earlier, they're like, does Gino ever say anything? Well, on Discord, he says all kinds of things. <laughs> yes. He does. All right. So is that it? Is that a wrap? Shout yeah. out to, to, to everybody today that came on thank you so much for being with us all eight thousand of you people that stayed with us for three hours and 28 minutes and no um no post-production tonight we'll we'll call it i'm pretty tired 10 o'clock but we we could circle back tomorrow but thanks everyone for sticking around for three hours 30 minutes very nice of you and um hecklefish will see you out is a fish what has he got if not himself then he is not to say the things he truly feels and not the words the one who kneels are in his shows I took the and did he
sounded great tonight. And take care of those waitresses, will you? All right, everybody get home safe. This is Hecklefish. And you know what? I did it. My.